We started. Good, we started. Yes. Episode sixty-five. But in honor of Star Wars, episode seven. Woohoo! Oh, all right, there we go. Hey. <laughs> Jeez, I wonder what could possibly be happening this week. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so excited. <sighs> Have you noticed I'm dressed as my Jedi? Yes. Loving it. Loving well, it. Like I said, I think, you know, I have declared a no info. No I, info. An embargo against all Star Wars stuff from last week to until tomorrow. That's right. That's right. So have I. I haven't read nothing. I'm just avoiding anything that's dealing with Star Wars except with the only thing I, you or friends taking pictures of their shit. I've I've I read the reviews, the non spoiler reviews. That's it. That's all I've done and for me, I was worried. This is a real real big deal to me, so I was worried. Read it, I'm happy. I can breathe easier. I'm I'm good. I knew it was going to be good. I don't need to read no reviews. So, there we go. It is our uh, lightly themed Star Wars edition. Um, because, uh, well, let's see. It's Wednesday night. Tomorrow night, it opens. 7 p.m. The so early. So, by the time all of you watch this, we would have already seen it. It'll be, well, probably. Because and hopefully you all would have seen it, too. We, we put it up on, uh, I'll put it up on Friday, but. Nobody will watch it until probably the weekend because hmm. anybody that's watching this probably will go watch the movie. Yep. Um, but no, there's a few. There's a few I know that are waiting a little bit. You know, yeah, I know a couple of those people as yeah, well. For it to die down a little bit. So. Yeah. We have a guest tonight. Yes, we do. We do. We have a guest, someone that you're excited about. Yes. I know. And a friend, of, a mutual friend of both of ours. Yes. Yes, long time was, friend. Yep, she, her, Robin and Phil run a, a, a I guess a Funko website. And wow. they deal with everything that deals with Funko. Funko. Or whatever. Okay. I call it Funko, whatever it is. But they have a website, it's called FunkoFanatics.com. And yeah. they're also located on Facebook at Funko Fanatics. So... Um, it's run by them. Uh, I think it was Phil, her 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 love of her life, who got her into it. Oh, interesting. Well, don't I'm give it away. Right. No, nope, but we'll ask her. Don't you call her, Rob? Stop, stop doing it, Jim. All right. Go ahead, call her. All right. We're calling her. Let's see. Uh, boom. Let's see if this works. I'm hoping. Is she there? I see two little stick figures. I see the stick figures. Hello. Hello. Hi, guys. How are you? I don't see you. Can can you hear us okay? I can can hear you. you. We can't see you. Why not? I don't know. I don't know. Is your camera on? Uh Uh-oh. Wait a minute. There it goes. Lou, you look like shit now. Oh, shut up. There. I look better now. No, he didn't mean it like that. (laughs) (laughs) There they are. Hey! Hey! What's up, guys? Hi. Hello. How are you? How are you? Good. Pretty good. I am ready for Star Wars. (laughs) I can see that. You look look the part right now. I even got my lightsaber. One of them. Yeah, one of them. (laughs) So. I'm hanging up there. You should be having a cyber uh, Star Wars lightsaber battle right now. We were well, thinking about it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, really we'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> we start arguing and fighting, and then, then we'll we'll have one of those. Um, so you're on here. You're this is the first time you're on the show. It is Su- surprisingly right. Surprisingly, it was all lose. About time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and, Phil. Hi, Phil. Who's Phil? Kenny told me he's Phil. <gasps> oh, he's Pat. Oh, shit. But that was nice. <laughs> that was nice. Good going. Good going, oh, Kenny. Shit. <laughs> nice try. I don't know how many times I texted it to you over there, Lou. 
Yeah, Lou. Your fault. No entiendo. I have. Oh, here we go. You do understand. Don't even try that. <laughs> Playing the Mexican card. <laughs> this early That's in my the show. <laughs> so, oh, Lord. tell us about your Funko Fanatics website and how you guys got into it. Yeah. yeah. Which part do you want to know? The part where you just learned what the website was about three seconds ago? Or. No, I've had it. No, oh, you know what, I Robin? Been on there yet. Robin, here's here's the general idea of what happens on the show. Exactly. I, I do research and I look into things like two days prior to the show and up up until the show, I write a whole bunch of notes. <laughs> like I have tons of notes here. I can write it down. I research everything. I look it up. I watch the videos. Everything. Lou just sits down, starts <laughs> eating like he's doing now. And then you see him, he'll be he'll he'll start doing this. And then what is he doing? And you can see in his glasses, it's his throat. <laughs> <laughs> and what's he doing is he's looking up stuff to talk about oh during the gosh, show. This is hilarious. This is my need a reliable white man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, bitch. What are you eating, Lou? I know Tacos. this is supposed to be about Funko Fanatics, but I'm curious. Oh, that is a big log of meat. He's eating a log of meat. He's eating his meat. It is. Yeah. Yule it's log. A, uh, is it Yule log? Definitely a, uh, yeah. a Christmas time snack. I have this is all I have left. Sorry. It yeah, was eggnog. How is your eggnog? Is it alcoholic? Yeah. Yeah. Today's show is brought to you by our unofficial sponsor, number one, Pepsi. Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> We have a lot of unofficial sponsors on the show. Yes, that's we do. good. You should probably work on an actual sponsorship. We have a couple. We have a couple. We have a couple. We have uh, Devil's Playground. Nice. That's, that's a awesome board game by our friend Dax Christopher. Oh, look at you guys. Yeah, look at us. Look, I'm giving you an opportunity to plug your uh, your sponsors right now. I know. We also have uh, Paranormal Enlightenment Magazine, who lets us put our shows up there. I don't know yep. why. But... That's surprising to me, actually. That's we what I said. Secret, we have a secret. Uh, uh, who is it? Dang, never. We have a contract with the devil. <laughs> yeah, with the U.S. agent. <laughs> Shield. Yep. Shield. Okay, we, have, we have a official sponsor in Shield. You wish. Yeah, we do. Official sponsors. Oh, look at that. Look Fight at Club. You. Fight Club. Fight Club. Hey, is that a real bar of soap? I want that. No. No. It's oh. a 3D printed. 3D printed. Soap. We both have one. That's very cool. How come I don't have one? Because you were with us at the New Jersey. Oh, That's okay. yeah. and you you I did. That. I bailed That's on that. Own, Sorry. You fault. were supposed to go. I was a horrible human. You are. So what? I'm sorry. We we digress because we're actually friends in real life. So this is now becoming. This is us. typical. Yeah. <laughs> we, we never stay on topic. <laughs> you guys realize it's very weird for me to be on this side of this spectrum because usually I was on the other side. So I'm wrangling you two in and you guys are the hosts. That's, That's right. A, how does that even work? Because <laughs> nothing no on this show works ever. I love it. I love right. it. Oh, so yeah, Funko Fanatics. FunkoFanatics.com. That's right. our That's site. Right. That's your <laughs> site? Yeah. Let me bring it up because I did not know about this. Until told Luke told you like right before I, I called you. Well, it's... you can pull that right up, and you'll see a whole bunch of stuff like reviews and videos and uh, just various news about and Funko, the toy line. Funko there should Fanatic. be a part of there about me. Dot com. Yeah, oh. there is no part about you. There is a part about you, isn't there, Lou? There should be. Oh, we put that on our Facebook page. Though. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. We put it on our Facebook page when you went and Got did good Stanley things Fox. for us. Yeah. So this is, this looks like, like a more of like a forum? Is that what no. I'm looking at? I don't no. know what you're looking at. Oh, you're on oh. Fun Addicts. You, Funko oh, Fanatics, oh. spelled like Fanatics, F-A-N. Yeah. Not oh. F-U-N. Damn it. Yeah. Shut up, Lou. But I know where you are. There. Funko you were on the Fanatic. you were on the Funko forums. That's what you were just on. Funko. It's like we strategically chose a name or something. I know, weird, right? I know. We so wanted weird. people to accidentally come to our site instead of going to the forums. Because what so you just went to is the actual Funko. It's the Funko forums. company driven forum. Yeah. Funko fanatics. So Robin, so you'll did, see us on there. Did Pat get you involved in this? Because you weren't really into it until 
That's pretty All right. funny, isn't it? So, no, he did not. So that's funny because the people who – what happened is we got each other into it because um, – she was saving it off. She liked them, and I liked them. I wasn't buying anything. And then when we started dating uh, about a year ago, then we we started collecting and and doing reporting and doing the the blog style that we do on the website. So really, we got each other into it. We were both kind of holding off collecting these these uh, vinyl figures for a long time. I'm a, I'm a long time yeah. action figure collector. I have hundreds and hundreds of. Marvel and DC and wrestling, wrestling and more. And we're going to get to that later awesome. in the show. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, this stuff is all. A I love it. This stuff was all because I was talking to him about how I liked it because, well, some of you, like Kenny probably knows I've collected Ghostbuster stuff as forever. And their Funko has, uh, yes. Oh, yes. I don't have that one, Lou. That. I don't That's have right. that one. That's the only one I don't have. So, yeah, we, um, oh, I love it. So, I collect Ghostbuster stuff as well as you guys do. And Funko makes those adorable, like, like Lou just showed, the, the, um, the little pops. And when we first started dating, when he was trying to, I'm going to use an old fashioned word, when he was courting 14. me. Yeah, I figured that's he, he was really. I know that's the way I courted Kenny. He was like, look what I have. And he shows me, and it was Slimer. It was like a Slimer Funko it's Pop. It's like almost the exact one in the Luja show. And I was like, oh. And I had just finished watching all of Breaking Bad at that time. He's going to go get it. I okay. just finished watching all of Breaking Bad, and I ended up buying every Breaking Bad Funko Pop. And then <laughs> the rest is history. Slimer! Yes. That's cool. So that's what happened. And then now we just collect together. And the unfortunate thing is we both have those kind of, which you guys both know about, that collector's personality. Because previous to all of this, I collected the Simpsons Interactive interactive figures. That was like in the wow. late 90s, early 2000s. 1930s. And then I so – <laughs> not And then I was also collected original um, Care Bears. So I have that collector's and strawberry shortcake. And strawberry shortcake. So I have like that collector's bug. bug. Yeah. And it's bad when you start. Yeah, we have it too. We, yeah, we kind of have it. Yeah. I can see by both of your little... offices at this point. But yeah. The the problem with me is that the, uh, I'm a big completist on a lot of things. I like to have a complete collection of what I feel. And I just, there's never going to, that's, gonna, nice, that's a nice Death Star. Or, yeah. <gasps> oh, it makes noises. Hold on. Not all of let's, let's relax. Let's stop pointing it at us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he's a completist, so he has everything. Like when he when we first started talking and, and I was like, I have to kind of tell you something about me, I collect toys, he almost like laughed because he was like, uh <laughs> Duh. No, you yeah, need no to idea. see this. Yeah. And he sent me this picture and I you know what, we'll send it to you after yeah. just so you guys can see. And maybe when you're doing post production, you can put it in there. But do you do post production? Yeah, I'm not that yeah. <laughs> Kenny does, does post production. I don't. Yeah, I I, so, I do everything, bitch. I <laughs> Shut up, bitch. So you're, he had you're a lot of this picture, and it was like hundreds of just Marvel. Of just Marvel characters, hundreds. Like, like you know those IKEA like cube shelves. There's tons of them, and they're all filled up. Hmm. It's unbelievable. Damn. So, yeah. Oh, look. Oh, I like that. Well, I want to have that. <laughs> we love toys. Love yeah, toys. I know. So do we. So yeah. do we. So then that's what happened. We got really into it, and we started to do this blog because we wanted to talk a little bit more with other people that were really into it. And it's kind of spiraled from there. Like a lot of people will go to our site for news. We've actually been asked by Funko themselves to remove news from our website because we broke things that they didn't want us to break. <laughs> like, so I mean, it's it's. We what like, happened was what happened what was, was we found we found the Star Wars Force Awakens pops pictures of them before they were supposed to be released. They didn't want any pictures of any product released before Force Friday, which was the first Friday in September. Yeah. Uh, and Amazon.ca accidentally leaked them all out like a month and a half ahead of time. And it was the Funko Pops and the Wacky Wobblers, which is the like a straight up bobblehead that they do. Yeah. And we posted pictures of all of them Grab on our website. And they're actually up for probably a good 
three or four days before yeah. Funko themselves actually contacted us to take like, them down. Can you so. take that down? And we're like, Meh. yeah, and then it wasn't worth it. it wasn't worth a fight. Like it's not it's not worth a fight to when they when they come to you and say that it's just not worth. It. I wanted to be like sure. After you give me free Funko Pop. <laughs> now, is there, when you did your website, is there like a huge following? I mean, we we're do. not in this part of the community. So You know, what's actually funny is that, um, you know, Hot Topic is one of the uh, the big uh, sellers of the Funko Pop. So we have a, a pretty good Hot Topic in our area it's huge. That, that has a very good set supply. And it's funny because we were in there one day. And a guy walked up to us and goes, hey, you guys are the Funko Fanatics, right? And, and it was the weirdest thing in the world. Wasn't it Black Friday? It was Black it Friday. It was on Black Friday, we, yeah. We, went, we decided to just leave the house on Black Friday just for fun. And when nice. we did, this guy recognized us. And that was a weird moment for us because we're like, wow, I guess this does have, like, enough of a reach. Because we do videos, too. I don't do videos. I film him. Right. Doing, so much <laughs> like you, Kenny, I do all the work. I'm the talent. He's the talent, and I'm the work. Well, I'm, I'm talent. the talent and no, the work. I'm the talent. <laughs> so. I'm, also, I'm also comedy relief. I That's that all was... he's good for. <laughs> <laughs> so we just... and, and I also purchase all the high-end items. <laughs> yeah, you, could, you, uh, you gave me a very nice gift, I have to say. I was very excited to get the, um, the Stanley that you gave us, and I did not know this, but I tried to pay him for it. I and, tried. And tried. Rob gave him the money, and I, I took it back from Lou, and I put it. He put it in a bag, and then I didn't know it was in there for nope. many days. And then one day, Pat was like, hey, what'd you do with that bag? And I'm like, I threw it out. And he's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I found it. it was, I didn't actually throw it out. But so that, was very, that was a gift. That was a you. gift. But that, you, know? you didn't have to do that, and that was so nice, and, and we love that. Like, it's so awesome to be able to have something like that from well, – somebody that you you know have been friends with forever and it's cool well see that's why when you when you told me about the u.s agent and the other i think it was the other stanley right yep mm -hmm. and then i figured oh but she doesn't know about this one because you didn't yep. tell me anything about it so i figured i was going to buy that for you which i did but you know the other, i didn't know i thought funkos are just you know little dolls and that's it but you're telling me that that day when we were texting back and forth that there's a lot of there's a huge following that yes. they're actually collectible apparently yes. Big you know, time. What you have in that box, uh, your that slimed Slimer and Peter. Slimer and Peter is that, worth get, some serious money can, right now. If, if the box is in perfect shape, Lou, you can you can get seventy five dollars for that right now. Wow. Yeah. So I mean I know it, it's probably cost you thirty bucks to get, but I mean that's that's still a markup of oh one hundred and fifty percent. So you know the, there's people out there that pay top dollar for these things. And we're not one of them. We're not going to go out. I don't go out and spend a lot of money on them. I like to just walk into a store and buy what I can. And, you know, we re we use resources. Lou helped us out for yeah, the – uh, awesome. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, we have him too. Yeah, that's over my shoulder, right? Yeah, right there. <laughs> Do you see him? Pretty you much see him? Yeah, I see him. I have this one, and I have uh, Superman. Number seven in the box. That's it. Oh yeah, the, you know it's and they're cute though. I mean, you gotta understand. There's like such an appeal for them. You gotta figure like they're they're just basic and plain. They're big eyes and they're super adorable and they turn even like horror film things into cute. Look at Java. This is my favorite one right now. It's obviously <laughs> Java. Um, I mean, look how big he is and, and the giant tongue sticking out. And it came with a, a slave Leia laying down a salacious prom. It's Ooh. It's probably probably my favorite one right now, especially the timing of with the movie and everything. Yeah, yeah so. that's cool. Well, that was one that I was trying to get a hold of, and, and when I was talking with Robin about it, it was Godzilla, and it hadn't been out, but I didn't know that there were like three versions of it. Yeah, yeah. there's a yeah. Tone the Dark one. There's one that was only released in Tokyo. Yeah, and the Tone the Dark I think goes was they were charging ninety five. The one in Tokyo they were charging one twenty, and I said I just want the this one. I just I just Did want you the, get it. I find yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they, this one costs. There's, there's currently four versions of Godzilla. This is another thing that Funko does is they'll take a they'll take a pop and they'll they'll make any version possible. They make things glow in the dark. They'll make things metallic and chrome. They'll put logical variants. They did um that Godzilla, which is the regular one, a glow in the dark one. They did one that's gray to make it look like the blue black and white movies. 
and they did a, a they did a burning one where it's black, but like it has like the red fire all it looks like red fire all over them. So they did some they did some really cool variants on Godzilla, but they do that with anybody. Like they're gonna they have um, a glow in the dark black costume Spider Man coming out. They just did um, you know potted little baby Groot. Uh, from the end of the Guardians there's so of the Galaxy. Many right. there's, there's so many versions of it. And it just made a holiday version where his, his pot looks like a plant. And, yeah. And he's all snowy. Yeah. Yeah. We saw. They also have something called chase variants, which is like, so one out of every, what's the ratio? Uh, it's it's one out of every Master Case. So it's one out of probably 64. So one out of 64 will be what they call a chase variant, which was usually like metallic or something different it'll about it. Or, or it'll like glow. That. It's just a, a slight variant of the regular pop. And they it's in each case. So when they sit, when they ship them out, you know, you could go to a Hot Topic and find that chase variant, and then those go for ridiculous amounts of money. I mean, mm. you're talking $100, $120, yeah. yeah. Wow. So they're like, uh, what was that spinoff in the mid-'90s or those little plush? Beanie uh, Babies. So is this almost like the new Beanie Babies, but of this era? That's the, you know that's Compared actually a huge comparison that people make, and I think the the big thing to remember to separate these from Beanie Babies, while it's a huge popular thing right now and it works, these are these are dealing with pop culture characters, yeah, and not just uh not just um you know uh, Freddy the Frog, right, or, random, or random, this, yeah, random, random animals, freaking characters that. And, and stupid. <laughs> right. Well, and then Beanie Babies, Beanie Babies did do licensed stuff. You know, there's Ninja Turtles and there's ponies and stuff like that. And they still make Beanie Babies. I don't know if that's shocking to anybody, but Beanie Babies yeah. still exist. Yeah, but, but I destroyed a lot of them. Right. <laughs> um, I just got one for my daughter for, for uh, I mean, Santa just got one for my daughter. Um, <laughs> but they, did, they, they, they didn't hold their value. No, they, no, didn't. they didn't. At all. And I think this is why the pops will. I think the pops have longevity because it's light. It's characters that we all know and love. It's Jabba the Hutt. It's uh, Marty McFly and the DeLorean. It's it's P- Slimer and Peter Bankman. You know. Well, I was actually shocked that they were even that they even had like you know, uh, the serial killers of the movies, you know, Jason. And, yeah, like, I have a lot of the horror film ones too. They have yeah, a lot of was... they have a lot of movies. You wouldn't be surprised. They had Kill Bill. They had the Boondock yeah. Boondock Saints. Yes. Um, you know, a lot of like. A lot of those movies, they have uh, the Big Lebowski, which is definitely not something. And that's why I don't. The dude back there. The dude is back there, and the, uh, and the the Moondock Saints. Jay and Silent there. Bob and are Jay back and there. Bob. I mean, Jewish. it's it's all different. It's it's basically us. Like everything we all four of us would like, they've made a pop yeah. for it. Like I don't know how much you can actually see behind this, but you can see anything from the dude that Mr. Snuffleupagus over there. I you know what I was I, I was asked that about that. Yeah, because <laughs> it's like dead it's center. Not, yeah. You yeah. can, I mean, you can see I got Thanos and I got yeah, Baymax right. and I got yeah. Oren Ishii's over there. And, that's Hagrid and from uh, the whole Harry Potter cast. Harry really. Potter. Jessica Rabbit, the Big Daddy from um, Bioshock. So. Uh, uh, what is that? Scar from uh, The Lion King. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That, wow. that just goes to show the long range they have. And yeah. Um, you know, I will. I would have to say, as far as unique figures go, that they, they probably have over 800 unique characters that they've made pop finals yeah. in. That's At least. Cool. That's we cool. also are doing this crazy thing because Pat had this whole, like, we should collect one of everything. We should pick one thing that we collect everything of. And he's like, how about Batman? And then he got me obsessed with completing every Batman that exists yeah. through Funko right now. I've seen the pictures you sent me. And right. is, I didn't know there were that many. Very and, you, and I've gotten more since I sent you those pictures. So um, we we just keep going. Like every single po- Batman, they did Rainbow Batman, and then they've done like Retro Batman. And I mean, it's I have probably Batman pops. I think we're probably at least over twenty of just yeah. Batman. Is it, oh. Now I've noticed that they've started to, to branch out into this stuff here. Yes. Yes, those are the mini. The or that, is that a pocket pop yeah. or is that a mini? That's a Venom pocket pop that uh, came in the Marvel oh, yeah. Thunder Force. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a pocket pop. Yep. And we have some of them. You can't see, but they're hanging down Actually, at the bottom there. I made little. The same exact one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I know I also got the one, the guy from uh, the. What the hell, that Christmas movie from Disney a few years back. Jack Skellington? Jack Yes. Yeah, yeah I did. I got that one from Patty. 
So yeah, they're great. I mean, they're just the the keychain version of them. So they have the pocket pops. But what you would be shocked to know is they also have kitchen stuff. Really? So oh yes, they have uh they have mugs. They have salt, um, and, pepper salt and pepper shakers. Mm -hmm. They have, what else? I mean, we have a Marvel Collector Core box yeah. right here. Actually, what I wanted to do, if you guys don't mind, is this is a time of year where, or a time of the month, where we get the so newest. Blue. <laughs> did you get the Guardians of the Galaxy did one? Yeah. Uh, did you open That's it? Right. <laughs> did you guys, did you open it? Not yet, but I did oh. get it today. I was actually going to, I actually have it done. I was going to actually open it on, on with you guys, okay? Are you okay with that? We're going to spoil what's in there. Oh, go ahead. Because you All right, we, so. Since what? when I usually get the new stuff in, I'll unpackage boxes or the new sideshow Darth Vader like last week. Yeah. So, but since you're our guest, you we go. We do open. that. We open everything on the show. That's exactly. what we do too. We do videos of unboxing. So we have so many subscription boxes between the two of us. Like I get Nerd Block and I and Logan gets Nerd Block Junior, my son. And then he. Oh, what else do I get? I get. Uh. Others, I don't know anymore. I get I, I don't know, I'm waiting yeah, for the we DC. get Loot Crate, we get the Marvel Collector Core. There's a Star Wars one now called Smuggler's Bounty. So you should we get that one, Kenny. I should. You should. We, I we the last it. one was last month. The first one was last month. They had an exclusive Captain Phasma and a Tie Fighter pilot from the movie. Actually, I'm wearing the yeah that shirt. I'm wearing the shirt it. that yeah. came with with the. I saw that shirt. Album. They were they were uh, showing it. That's the uh, at the. At the convention where I got you guys that pop, those pops. Yeah. Right, right, right. Well, but the, one I'm waiting for, the one I'm waiting for is the DC Universe one. They, you know, they said they're going to announce that, announce that stuff after the new year. So hopefully we get that. I, I'm excited for that one too. Yeah. So Because I can only do one or two. I can only I can do Marvel, but I can't do all three. <laughs> I, so I can't Star even Wars do one. <laughs> you can uh, do Star Wars. I shouldn't do one. I shouldn't do any of them, but I'm going to keep doing them all. But we do all of them. So the idea behind it is it's, it's sponsored by Marvel. It's run by Funko. They put the boxes out every other month. So this is the... Um, fifth box that they've put out since the since April. The first one was April is based off Age of Ultron. The second one was based off Ant Man. The third one was based off of the Secret Wars comic, and the October one was based off Villains because of Halloween time, and they sent us a Morbius pop with it. So this one's based off the Guardians of the Galaxy. Not very timely because obviously the movie's not around, but there's a new cartoon and everything like that. So. Yeah. Uh, it's I the December box. This box was going to be bigger than normal because I spoke into them right. at the convention, and they told me it's going to be bigger than the, than the other boxes. So, but, but wait until you see why it's bigger. Yeah, yeah, wait till you see why. So what they do with every box, and this is for both the Marvel one and the Star Wars one, is they put a patch and they put a pin in it. So if you get all the boxes, you have all the patches and all the pins. So you got a group pin right there. Nice. And then a rocket. Okay. Wow. So he looks uh, he looks pissed off in that. Wow, uh, that's rocket. Right here. <laughs> and every other one, everyone does come with a, a comic too. So this is looks like the new relaunch of Guardians, which uh, I believe the new Guardians relaunch has Venom and Kitty Pryde are part of the Guardians of the Galaxy now. But look how cute. He's yeah. Got look at Kree's off Christmassy. Christmas stuff all over him. See, and being a comic book collector, I won't open that comic book. I haven't no, opened no. any of the comic books. No, we What's will, good is they actually started um, boarding them. Boarding them yeah, up too, the first, they doing that the first ever. couple weren't boarded. Actually, the first one was just a comic put in there. There wasn't even yeah. a bag or anything like that. So they did board it up. That's pretty cool. So um, the pop thing that we got is Groot and how how they Groot and and Rocket. Nice. And I believe they're ornaments. So what I'm going to do is I'll I'll open it up after we take everything out of the box. They're cute. And this you is why the pretty box... cool stuff in these boxes. Yeah, you do every time. This is why the box is so big because it is has a, mug. a Star Lord pop mug. Wow. So it's shaped like the Star Lord's head. It looks like a, a a pop. We'll open that as well. And then the last thing inside the box is a scarf. <laughs> yep. It's a Guardians of the Galaxy, and it has like their silhouettes. It's all mine. Check... Look at the backside. <laughs> look at the backside of that scarf. What's on the back side? OMG, it's Groot! <laughs> nice. That's amazing. I love it. So, I love the whole Christmas theme this time. I yep. like it. So, here's Star Lord. 
That's what wow. the actual mug looks like. That's a big it mug. Is a, it is a big mug. It's a good coffee mug. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Very nice. And then he's taken out. Yeah, they are. They are then, ornaments. The the um the rock and the Groot are little ornaments. Those are so. adorable. Oh. So we hang them from the Christmas tree, <laughs> right? It's cute. I love that actually. Because what's a Christmas tree without your favorite obsession hanging from it, right? Exactly. I'm sure you guys have crazy stuff hanging from your Christmas trees. Oh yeah. I'm yes. sure I'm, I'm interested to see what the uh, kind of hallmark ornaments you have, Kenny. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sure Kenny. Funko's for... really, Funko's really branching out to everything. They are. Yeah. I mean, they, they, the company's been around for a long time. They initially started out as, um, you know, they made bobbleheads, and they started off with a Bob's Big Boy bobblehead. That was kind of like where they started. The company ended up growing exponentially when they let this one guy on board who was like, hey, I got this idea. Is that Brian? Is that it was the- Brian. So there's this gentleman, Brian, who came on board and started, just came up with this idea. And it was like everything just exploded from that point. So has has, has this whole thing and the website and the, and, and the Facebook page, has it led up to anything with the official Funko company or no? Aside from them contacting us to tell us to take news off of it, no. I mean, I think they're aware that we exist, but um. But but what it's going to lead to is um we millions. We, we, yeah, that'd be the best. <laughs> but we will get access to um uh media or media only things like there's a, a trade show in New York everywhere. It's just called Toy Fair. You can't just walk into it. You can't buy tickets to it. It's not like a Comic Con. Yeah. It's a trade like show. Us. Yeah. Right. So uh, it's something I've been going through for years because um, before I had this, I had an action figure blog myself, just action figures. So I've been going to that for years. So this will lead to us also being able to go for that and getting an appointment with Funko, seeing their showroom, seeing stuff that probably other people can't see. Um, nice. Every year they every year they have a huge, huge, uh, huge, huge amount of toys. So now, where are they located? Are they in the in the East Coast somewhere or, or what? Funko is in the Seattle area. Oh, they're on, on your side, side of the, yeah, right on the, side. On your side of the yep. world, though. Yes! Wow. Finally, there's are on your side. <laughs> they do, um, every year at San Diego Comic-Con, they do a Funko Fun Days, yep. which is where you have you can buy a ticket and you can go in, and it's limited to, like, maybe couple a couple hundred. hundred people. And you can go in, and they'll show you, they showcase a lot of their new stuff. They'll showcase, a lot of people do customs of these. So they'll take these pops and yeah. just, you know, completely customize them to whatever they want this to look like. I, I've seen some that seen glow some. and then move, and it's just amazing. And we feature some of them on our site, too. Yeah. Um, some of the really good artists that have done customs will do a featured artist section. But um, they'll do a whole section where you can see all their customs. Um, and then they'll give out really awesome stuff. Like, um, they'll do giveaways. They'll do contests and prizes. And they have, like, ginormous, like, huge pops that they'll give out or freddie funko which is their logo he for whatever reason goes for so much money if you have a freddie funko pop so and when they do with freddie funko is they'll make them look like characters like they make freddie funko look like boba fett freddie funko look like Hulk hogan freddie funko look like Daryl Dixon, well, like that so. i know I, I just got i just secured my tickets for WonderCon yesterday okay so i'm cool That's there who knows what'll be there but along with this, with with all of this, how many new figures did they released for the new movie of Star Wars? And are you going to get them all, Kenny? They're, they released on Force Friday 11 original pops. And then there was five or six of them who had variants. For instance, they had Kylo Ren with his hood up and Kylo Ren with his hood down. They had um, Finn uh, in his regular outfit, and then they had Finn um, in his Stormtrooper costume. And they had um, Ray holding her staff, and then Ray holding. I don't remember. She was holding something else. I don't remember what it was. So they did eleven pops, and then they did variants of all eleven. What was that, Kenny? <coughs> Lightsaber. <Yeah>. Lightsaber hand. <laughs> they, <coughs> they can't set that spoiler out. But they didn't do any of the old characters. The only old character they did was C three uh, PO and Chewbacca. They didn't do Han. They didn't do Luke. They didn't do Leia. So I imagine those are coming out after after the movie. Uh, I I know I if Chewie has gray hair. I did we no, see he that? Doesn't. He no, doesn't. He doesn't. None of the previews. Sure. Yeah. I guess maybe Wookiees don't age the way we would. But he dyed his fingers. His fingers are all black, which oh. is different from 
the original trilogy. Well, maybe that's how they age. Maybe that's like what, what changes color as they age. Did you know that they shot that is, for that the is, original that trilogy? That is uh, a common trait in some animal species where they do get old. Their fingernails. So you're getting a text Shut up, Lou. Did you know they shot for the original trilogy um, a scene when they were on uh, the Wookiee planet where there was a Wookiee like uh, fostering a small child? What? And it was supposed to be Chewie and Han, and they cut it from the movie, Aww. from the from episode three. That's a shame. Yeah, that would have been awesome, wouldn't it? They cut so much from all the movies. Yeah. Well, the prequels just, I, I don't even recognize them. They're, <laughs> they're horrible. Yeah. They're horrible. I, I, Jar Jar Binks is not one of my favorite characters. Pat loves Jar Jar. I love Jar Jar. I, I hate him. And this is where they hang up. Who loves him? Don't know. You are out of here. <laughs> So yeah, I don't love him. Fuck Jar Jar. I don't love him. But I, 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 I'm not saying him. I don't love Jar Jar. Let's clear that up. But yeah, um, then there's the whole Jar Jar is a I don't. Character ever. Listen, the it lightsaber is. battle at the end of episode one was amazing. <laughs> oh, I can no longer talk to you. Teddy's getting sad. I'm going to... Sh- Move my chair, and I'm only addressing Robin. <laughs> Kenny, is that an actual real microphone right there that I see? This, yes. Yeah, yeah. I love microphone. it. Yeah, it's uh, it's a very yeah, it's on a nice stand. It's very nice. I like it. It's very expensive too. So oh. It's a hundred bucks. You got it on sale. Well, we can definitely hear Kenny a lot better than we can hear. Yeah, him. we do. Kenny's um, no offense. No, that was to Lou. That oh, was for him. <laughs> <laughs> Lou, um, Lou's yeah. using a microphone on his laptop. Lou, also, even still, your video is much clearer as well as than Lou's. Yeah, well, I'm using an actual HD You've webcam. Or, <laughs> Lou's just using a shit cam. I mean, we're not. We're probably not very clear, are we? Yeah, you're much clearer than he is. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. We're just using the IMAX. Well, Lou spends all his money on um, toys, statues. <laughs> Good for you, Lou. He never so buys show on this show. So shut up, Kenny. You don't spend anything on this show. Shut up. I do. The damn computer. Actually, we did. We we had to upgrade everything. Oh <laughs> everything. lord. We the first our first five episode. episode was horrible. 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 Just because of the because of the technology that you were using. Yeah, it couldn't keep up with what we wanted to do. So we I had to do a lot of editing, and it was it was horrible. But you know, we, the keyboard behind you. Are you afraid that it's gonna summon some demons back there? Or? Oh, that one. Yeah. Is that, that from was, our thing? That's what? Is that the Ouija board from when we did the? Oh, you weren't with us for that spirit no. communication this stuff. This is uh, this is from Penhurst. I was gonna say I saw Penhurst. It's just Penhurst. a PVC board. Oh. Oh, I like that sound. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> Why is it from Penhurst? Uh, because well, oh, the I, Paracon, I got you. I was there at the Paracon, yeah, and somebody was making them. So I have like four or five others up top. You can't see them, but they're up on top of the shelf. I see them. And then I have one that's back here that I made. Aw. This red and black one. Nice. I got the full tour of his room when we were over you there. You did. He did. Yes. I've seen his. I've seen it, but I don't think I actually paid. There's too much stuff to look at. I can't focus in any that's one so direction. That's that so and all the alcohol you consumed when you were here. That's yeah. Story too, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of alcohol. We have videos that I can't post from that. That was a fun night, though. <laughs> it was fun. We had a great time. That was a great night. I smelled like a bonfire for days. I could not yeah. get the smell out of my hair. It happens. You can't help it. I know. What was? I, I'm I'm curious. What was the first pop figure that you bought? I bought all of the Breaking Bad. At the same time? At the same time. And that was like your first? Yes. First well, actually, I'm this? sorry. That's a total lie. I bought He-Man and She-Ra for my son two Christmases ago. All right. That doesn't count. I meant for yourself. Oh, hey, Patty. Patty. Oh, that's a sight for sore eyes right it's there. It's nice I'm to sorry. see that you're in California again. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Where'd she go? Well, she Long was here. Lou, Lou left her here. Yeah, <laughs> left her there. Was, I mean, if you're going to leave her here, you should leave her with me. <laughs> the dog is growling. I'm sorry if you can hear the dog in the background. He's it's growling. all right. We have trains and dogs here a lot of times. Okay, good. So what's, I guess, what, 
What's this is favorite? Pat's first one, right? This was your this first This is the first one I bought, but I got one uh, in a loot crate before that. That would have been my first one. Oh, Groot. yeah, you it got fruit. A, a glow in the dark fruit. Like, I keep seeing them, and I'm like, oh, that'd be cool. But I have so much shit in here <laughs> that I have nowhere to put. Like, I've seen pictures <laughs> that you've posted of, like, the, the piles and piles and stacks. Yeah. I have nowhere that I could I could fit those boxes. And there's there's an interesting question because some of the stuff, like I play with a lot of the toys that I get, but I also keep a lot of stuff in the packaging. And obviously, from from looking behind you, you yeah. guys take them out of the package. Yeah, Do, I don't. Is, are there any that you will not take out of the package? Yes. Like, for, um, which ones and why? So. There's, I don't really have much of a rhyme or reason. You take, you'll take any of them out, pretty much, right? Yeah, they all come out of the package. I, all my toys are out of the package. Yeah, he, he's an out of box collector and always has been. I initially was not with the, um, when I started collecting years ago with the Simpsons characters, I kept them mostly in the box. But then I started to buy two, and I would take one out of the box and then keep one in the box. Yep. <laughs> um, now the ones that I keep in the box are ones that I'm not sure if I'm going to keep or not. Like sometimes we use some for trade bait because there's like ones that we really, really want that are hard to get because they're like retired now. Yeah. So if we keep certain ones that are kind of like high in demand, like exclusives and stuff, we'll keep them in the box so that we can trade them later for something that we really want. Um, and all my Batman are in their boxes, but yeah, not maybe that's one of them are in the box. Right. But not I'm because, so yeah, I'll show her. Uh, did you show, you show that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want, well, I mean, I'm not going to keep Come them that way. Yeah. I'm not going to keep them that way forever. It's just right now I don't have a display for them. Eventually I want to have like, like how we have this thing. I want to have one of these that has every one of the Batman in it. So you want to cover a whole wall. Mm -hmm. With just Batman. With just Batman. <laughs> and then the other one she's committed to keeping the package is a Silver Stanley you got. Him. Yeah, that one's not coming out. So it's now, are there Superman, there's some there's some Superman ones? There are. There's there. only he hates he hates <laughs> Superman. I know Kenny. Ken, no, Ken, no. Kenny knew this. He hasn't talked about this already. He left, he left. I know he's, he's gone. Done. Uh, he's I done. don't. I don't like. I don't care much for Superman. They just. They. They do make a lot of Superman pops. So they just uh, released a black and white one, and they just released a we black and one. a black and white one. one too, which we have both of. Um, and there's one Batman here. Yeah. Well. Yes. And then they they have they're 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 going to have. Plenty of pops for the Batman Superman movie. Sure. Yes, and the, there's actually the one that I really wanted because I love the actual pose. Look at Kenny. <laughs> He's so sad. Kenny and, has a, ba a Superman pop, if I remember correctly. He, he does. It's right over there. <laughs> He's so bad. So there's this pose um, for this the new Batman vs. Superman movie. There you have a Batman and Superman pop, and the way that it's posed is like he's in like flight position. And it's awesome, and I want that Superman pop so bad, but it's already... Is that coming out after the movie? They made a, a pre-release one. They released, like, a, a sneak peek one for uh, Comic-Cons. There it goes. That man, I think it's a Man of Steel one, too, you got there, Kenny, right? Yeah. And, um... That's a good one. The They made a pre-release of Comic-Con this past uh, uh, year in, in San Diego, and then they're going to have uh, a full release of them back in... in, in was it, is it February or March the movie comes out? That's right. You were going to stare at this fucking thing the whole <laughs> rest of the show. <laughs> I don't hate Superman. It, that's this one over here. Two and strikes I, against you, Pat. Get, you're good listen, in my book. Listen, Kenny and I had a, a pretty long conversation about Superman, I believe, a couple weeks ago. So I remember none of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm not surprised by that at all. <laughs> now, this is the... This is, this is an original Superman. It's, original not, Superman? it's not Man of Steel because he's got the red underwear. There you go. Red undies. Yeah. They did make a man. They did make Man of Steel ones. They did have Zod and, and Superman from Man of Steel as well. I just keep playing with Slimer because he's so adorable. Look at his face. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. His teeth. Look at those teeth. There you go, baby There's Groot. Groot. See, you have a couple. You have yeah, three. Is, you. is this? Is this Funko? Yeah. Yeah, yeah look, it's the same thing as this. Oh, yeah, it is. 
<clears throat> I didn't even know this. You got that from your loot crate, didn't you? No, I don't get a loot crate. That one was just a, uh, that was just a regular release one. Somebody, one that... uh, yeah, that was a gift. What do you got over there? It's another the Funko. All kinds of shit. What is it? That's what that's the old pen is. Oh, the pen. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow. I got to let the dog out. Sorry. Don't be mad. Well, let the dog out. <laughs> All right. All right. Now that the women are gone. Yeah. Talk about adult stuff. <laughs> Let's get down to business, bitch. Right. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want him to do anything. Oh, Roy. Oh. Ah, where's his back? Back. Over. <laughs> so, there's a new movie coming out. I don't know if you noticed. Maybe, are you talking about Star Wars? No, I think they're talking about Sisters. Oh, huh? Sisters. I'm excited about that one. Every, every time I think about Sisters, I think of that movie with Bing Crosby with those twos. Sisters and Sisters. Oh, BB-8. Is that the Spiro one? Is that the one that, like, goes? Yep. Aww. Yeah, both got one. Yeah. <laughs> He's so you, cute. You have fun with it? Yes. I got the Funko BB-8 also. When it first came out, I bought it. So. I turn yeah. him on I turn him on to an explorer mode, and he just goes off by himself. I really? How great. does Chewie feel about it? She does not like him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But she's, she's kind of used to me doing shit like that, so she kind of just, like, Shrugs it off and just walks away, or jumps up on the couch and done. So, poor Chewy. But it's all good. Destroy that poor dog. That no, dog. I chase my dogs with it all the time, both of them. <laughs> I probably hate it too. <laughs> so mean. So, what's your most expensive pop figure? Mm. I'm curious. Like, what's the one that's worth the most? Um, right now we have two. Uh, again, the silver Stanley. Yes, thanks, Luke. And we have a gold... I have it. Batman. A gold what? A gold Batman. Batman. A gold Batman. And probably the other one that's on top of the list... gold too. The gold Batgirl, but I think the one that's top of the list is from San Diego a few years ago, that one I bought you was the four Ghostbusters that's covered not, in marshmallows. Yes, that's up there, but it's not the top. I'm gonna. Oh, really? There's a website. It's called poppriceguide.com. And we, there were no affiliation with them whatsoever, but no. that's where you could track your pop collection. Put everything in there, and it will tell you what they're going for at the current time. And it uses a various, like, it'll use, like, eBay sales and stuff like that to figure out what it is. And it changes every day. So I'm going to actually go to it. When she told and, me how much that platinum Stan Lee was going for, I literally almost fell on the floor. I know. He's like, what? I'm like, no, trust me. It's trust. Just trust. It's like, good. So I'm, I'm going to the collection tracker right now. Yeah. And oh, I'm going to tell you what my top 10 what? are. What are you looking at? Top 10. I'm going to tell you my top 10. Top 10. Okay. Top, top 10. 10. If it loads. If it decides to load. I don't Until want to. Until then. Until then. Do, do, do. Until then, we're going to look at that empty spot. Look. <laughs> look, I'm looking at my phone. You can see it in my glasses, Kenny. Shit. See that? Wow, yours is bright. Usually Lou tries to keep it hidden, and I guess because of his, you know, darker skin, he can't really uh, tell. I see the glow you're when you're wet. Your... Oops! Shut up, bitch! Hey, you disappeared. There you are. Where did I go? You, you Trump... sounded hey, like Jesse wearing... Pinkman. Stop touching stuff, Lou. Be quiet. And do anything. So I'm looking at this. It says the pop price guide. Yes. Ten pop highest price. sales, and at the top. Well, top. you'll see which ones the really expensive ones are. Yeah, check that out. That's pretty interesting, actually. It's a Pop Freddy Funko Frankenberry. Yep. Metallic. Ooh, wow. The metallic one is, wow, 4500 4, Wow. <laughs> that means that it <laughs> Is that, that the cereal yeah. one? Yeah. 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 Yeah, they did pops of the, the three cereal guys. Booberry, Frankenberry, and um, Count Chocula, and then they did a Freddy Funko style of them. That what we were explaining earlier, where it's Freddy is their their logo, and they just make them. You were right. The four pack is my top one. So, oh, you yeah, can't. Right. There we go. There. So the top one is seventy five. Wow. And the gold Batman is seventy. The Shira that I bought, Logan. Remember, I said my first pop that I bought was He Man and Shira. The Shira that I bought is sixty five dollars. Uh, the Batman um, Batmobile is so is there like a Funko convention also? I mean, like you know how there's Paracons and stuff. Is there just conventions dealing with Funkos or other um, groups? That would be like what that 
Funco Fun Days thing is about. Like, they do it, they piggyback off of the San Diego Comic-Con, but that would be the only thing that's pretty much just exclusively Funko. Pretty much every con that you go to, you will find booths upon booths of these Funko Pops, just from regular vendors that are setting them up. I mean, when we were at um, New, York. New York, there were uh, Stanley Collectibles had a booth. With... You tell me not to waste money all the time. Well, and I mean, you never listen. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm sure you probably haven't listened to that, but yeah. So the, the, they're everywhere, and you know, you'll find them selling. Oh my gosh, when we went to San Diego Comic, or when we went to New York, New York Comic Con, we oh, I see the Ecto one. That's we, one for your airplane. That oh yeah, that's the Titan, I think. Yeah. Um, Which is worth three hundred dollars, but because Kenny <laughs> took it out, it's not worth a dollar. It's not. It's not. Oh. Um, we uh, <laughs> we saw a pop. They were the ones like that you got the the platinum one. They were selling ones like that at our Comic Con, and people were buying gold. them. It was gold. It was gold, but they had the gold ones at yours too, didn't they? The gold yeah. Stanley. Yeah. So they. Just, I told they, you about the gold Stanley. Yes, they would take the gold one, buy it buy it out, and then go to their booth and sell it for, like, three times as much in the same car. In the same day. Same day. Yeah. And people would do it. I know. <laughs> and then, flippers. not only that, but, like, um, um, a lot of websites out there have different, their own exclusives. Entertainment Earth has their own exclusives. Fugitive Toys has their own exclusives. Uh, Gemini Toys, Tokyo, Toy Tokyo. Um, Hot Topic. Hot yes, Topic. Has a lot series. of exclusives. Well, because I, I know when I went to get that Platinum Stan Lee, they were, they were saying only one per person. That was yeah. it. Even if you were like with a family of five, only one person in that family could get it. So I had to do my Mexican powers and call <laughs> some Mexican friends to get in a different line. I love it. I actually have a bunch of Hot Topic exclusives that I just picked up. Wow. Uh, Carnage, the Anti Venom. And then look how cute Stitch and is. Stitch. <laughs> and that one has a flocking on it, so it's a little, it's a little furry. It's fuzzy. It's a little fuzzy. Wow. That's so awesome. is Snuffleupagus is fuzzy, too, the one right there. That's fuzzy. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, does that tend to bring the price up on them? Because yeah, most things are hard plastic, and if they have something, you know, furry or soft on it, would that make it like an exclusive? Yeah. It will. And the, the Hot Topic ones don't go for a lot of value because they're still pretty readily available. The Snuffleupagus was a little bit rarer one. That was um, that Barnes was a short Noble. run release at Barnes & Noble. Um, we have uh, – I also got these from Entertainment Earth. It's Shaun of the Dead. And, oh, nice. and these are these are bloody versions. So like there's splats of red on their on their clothes and their faces, <laughs> um, which is not the regular release. The regular release is just plain old them. So, but that just goes to show how many different variants and exclusives of, of these that there are out there. So how many uh, how many of these things do you guys have? <laughs> uh, at last count, I was at. Let's make sure nobody I know is listening that cares about me. <laughs> um, I think at last count, I was at 144. And at my house? And that's my my house. We, we do not live together. Oh, we I have to have our yeah. No, um, we have our, we, I have stuff here, and she has stuff at her house. And how many do you have at your house? I have, like, a Yeah, so that means you're living together, whatever. 70, <laughs> maybe? Yeah, I think like between, us, between us, we're pushing 300. Yeah. Wow. And that's I'm just very, pop. And that's I'm just pop. Pushing. I'm really pushing 15. Now you you said you had you you're big into collecting the Batman ones, mm -hmm. um, and I'm looking on this list, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't have. <laughs> like there's the some that we're that not gonna get either. Yeah. They have pa uh, Batgirl black. I don't have Batgirl. I yeah, mean, we do. I mean, I have a gold Batgirl. I have black ones. And too. a and a black Batgirl. But we're not gonna collect her. Heroes, Batgirl black. Nine nine nine, thousand bucks. Wow. For that one. They have Pop Heroes Batman Blue Metallic. Yes, I, I know. That's so expensive. You don't have that one? No. Nope. Um, They're coming out the Powerpuff. Shut girl. up. Batman. I know. It's not exciting. We just reported that today. Flashpoint Batman? Flashpoint Batman. I got a, I got a, uh, this is a painful story about this pop. Oh, no. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's, a, it's a very painful story. So, like I said, uh, I've been staving off collecting these for a long time. And so is she. So, we got together. It just made sense. I go to New York Comic Con every year, every year, and that Flashpoint one, which is probably what's it up to, Kenny? Three something. It's up to uh, seven sixty. Oh. Jesus Christ! <laughs> really? You guys are gonna faint when you, you guys are gonna faint when you hear this story. So that was New York Comic Con. I want to say 2011 or 2012. 
And I had a buddy who goes, who knew I was going, he goes, hey, there's this booth that's selling a Flashpoint version of this Batman thing. It's weird. I don't know what it is, but my, my friend wants it. That's what my friend said to me. And I, he goes, can you just pick it up for me? It's probably like 15, 20 bucks. I'm like, sure. So I pick it up, and I just mail it to my friend. That Flashpoint pop that is currently worth $700. <laughs> he just gave I bought, away. And my friend just gave me the cost of, the cost of it for, and I, I sent it to him. So I had one of those in my hand. And I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't know. And, and I've seen them. You know, at that point, I saw them around. I was. I figured I wasn't good then. But that was. Uh, it's pretty safe to say I'm never going to see that one. That was a painful. Oh, one. that sucks, dude. Yeah. I look. Well, I look. What was so special about it? It's the Flashpoint version. So in the Flashpoint comic book series, where it's actually Thomas Wayne, where he has the red. He has the red Batman red symbol. Eyes. Yeah. The red eyes. Yeah. Red eyes. Yeah. Wow. Like Let me I, see I, if I can get my Mexican powers and get one of those. I, oh I, God, I, I would have a heart attack. I'm constantly looking. I mean, Lou and I go back and forth. Like, uh, we find stuff that the other one likes, and we buy it and send them. Like, I have I have a box of stuff that I have to send out to him. And He does <laughs> that with some of his friends, too. I always, always check first. Like, we had a discussion about the, the Darth Vader collector case for the action oh, figure. Yeah. The old Darth yeah. Vader collector yeah, yeah. And we were talking about it during one of the shows, and and. And uh, our friend, uh, a friend of ours, said it was like up to three hundred bucks yep. that they're worth. And so I went out and I found one at a flea market. Three dollars. Oh, nice. Dollars. And I bought it with the intention of sending it out to Lou. And then I, <laughs> then our friend talked to us and he's like, "Yeah, it's up to three hundred dollars." I'm like, "Fuck no, I'm not sending it to him." <laughs> <laughs> no way. But I, I, I couldn't say that I got it because. I already told him I was going to send it to him. So I actually went out the next weekend and I found another one. Stop it. That I paid $5 for. So yeah. I was like, oh, whew, good. <laughs> I can Aww. send him one still. That was nice. I I went to Toy Fair. It was the year that um, episode three came out and Hasbro's press kit was a box. And a, the front of the box was a folder. When you open the folder, the one in the top corner of the box was a figure of Anakin Skywalker, and when you opened the folder inside the box, it flipped over to be Darth Vader. Mm, wow! There was a hundred and fifty of them made, wow. and I told my buddy, who has every Star Wars figure since Power of the Force two came back in ninety seven, I told him that anything Star Wars I get, he could have. I told him that, and then when I got home and see that people were paying two grand for it. I told him to go f himself, yeah. and, I'm taking, <laughs> and I'm gonna put it as a down payment on the house. <laughs> Damn right. And that's where I'm sitting because of that. I was, really? Yeah. No, I seriously, I, I sold it. I got two grand for that press kit with two figures that you that you probably bought a million times. The people bought a million times. Got two grand for it and just threw it in my money that I was gonna pay for a house. It's amazing some of the stuff that we get involved in, and then, <clears> you know. The amount that people will pay for these things. I know. I, I it, listen. I will never pay two grand for a toy. I'll, I'll I, I don't want to pay too much over retail value for a toy, but I'll never pay two grand for a toy. That the the Marvel toy. I'm really glad to hear you say that. The, the, <laughs> there's one Marvel toy that will complete my Marvel six inch action figure collection. It's the Dragon Man from the Fantastic Four series. He goes for four hundred dollars. I will never buy that toy. I'll never do and it. so he's sitting here with one missing out of a complete collection, but he won't buy it. No. So. Wow. At least he's smart about it, right? I, I hear you. I hear you. I'm the same way. I mean, I, I, we we've gone to toy cons. I, I go to toy con over in Jersey, and I go to constantly go to like um, the 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 secondhand stores and flea markets and all that stuff, and I I won't pay a lot of money like that. I'm the flea market guy, you know. Yes. I'm used to getting like rare items for two or three dollars, right? Because you know the people don't know what they have. That's sort of more fun too, wouldn't you yeah. say? Like it's so much more fun going on the hunt for it oh, yes. and like discovering it while you're out in the wild, and and you know it, it makes it more fun. But for us, that stuff doesn't happen quite as much just yet because these toys are so new. The Funkos, anyway. The Funkos. Yeah. I that, mean, it'll that, happen for other things, but... That kind of leads me to... I had a question for you guys because, I mean, uh, going out, it's, it's Christmas season, um, going out shopping. I'm seeing these pop figures 
everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Every store has them. Yep. Do you think that they're gonna they're gonna over flood? The, yeah, I, I the think market? with some of the with some of the commons, yeah, like the the where if if you're for us, we don't care because we're not in this to resell them. Right. Right. Yeah, we can sell. Right. All we do is we maybe get some that we wouldn't normally collect, like I said before, just to use as bait to get some of the other ones that we want that are worth a little bit more money. Through, like, forums and Facebook pages, yeah. like, you can tr try and trade, trade. Get older ones that we may have missed because we didn't start so late collecting. But for right. collectors, where the where if, the, if you were into this and you wanted to be into this for the specific reason of, like, making money off of it, then what you really need to focus on is these exclusives. And, and you really need to focus on the supply. Like, so in certain cons, they're going to tell you that they're only going to make like 500 of these, or they're going to make a thousand of these or 2000. They'll tell you sometimes they'll release what the run's going to be. So when you find stuff, that's only going to be like a smaller run. That's what you want to try to get because that's where your money's going to be. But there's always going to be commons that they're just going to keep putting out there and yeah, they're going to be worth seven bucks right. for the duration of their life. And know? not only that, they take properties and they miss on properties. Like they, they'll they take a movie that they think is going to do well or sell well, and they'll miss. And it happens with anything, not just pops. There's a lot of things out there. Tomorrowland is a good example. They, yeah. they made a whole line of Tomorrowland pops, Tomorrowland pops, and the movie flopped, mm -hmm. and the, the day flopped. The, what was that sci-fi movie with Mila um which one jupiter was it jupiter oh, or something jupiter ascending yeah 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 they made pops of those movie flopped pops yeah. any any of them are I mean, we flopped. picked up the tomorrowland pops at the disney store for two bucks a piece. two dollars a piece yeah. so there are going to be times where you see that but i mean i do think that there's always going to be value in some of them i just think that you have to know the difference between what a com which one's common and which one's not. And nine times out of ten, the easiest way to tell is if there's a sticker on the front of it. <laughs> it, it whenever, and this one's just like an exclusive from uh, Entertainment Earth. But then there's the Hot Topic like we showed you before. The Hot Topic sticker on the front, that one's exclusive just to them. So you know there's a smaller run and they're not going to be at every single store right. that you go to. Well, out of all the ones that I have, my favorite is uh, the Iron Man that came in the Marvel box. The Hulkbuster? The Hulkbuster one? That I one's love crap. that one. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I was selling that, that being sold. Too. Yeah, that one's been good, that I saw at the conventions. I saw it go for 65 bucks. Yep. You yeah, know. he's worth he's worth a good amount. I think he's gonna kind of retain that value because you gotta really think it was the first Marvel Collector Core box that they ever made, and it though that pop was only available for through Marvel Collector Core. So if you are a subscriber, you're the only one that's getting it. And so there's a limited number. So there you go with that again. If, as long as there's a limited number, he's talking about this, Kenny. Yeah. As, yes. long, as long as there's a limited number, you're gonna, it's gonna retain its value. It could end up going, it could end up skyrocketing like some of these that you've seen, like the Flashpoint Batman, you know? So how much, how much time do you guys spend on the internet looking for Funko News? Too much time. Who does the majority of it? So Depends. we divvy it up pretty well. Uh, I think, like we had mentioned the, the, earlier in the call, uh, Robin is a lot more on the tech end. Um, like I she, did the whole site. Yeah, she did the whole site. And um, I do a lot of the news. I do a lot of the posting of information. She, I, I'm the, I do the videos from uh, the, the, on the camera side where she's filming it and she does editing. Um, and but if you I, notice, we do some cute little, like, side cutouts where you see him like rotating in the corner you got to check out some of our awesome youtube videos that i work so hard to edit and he just gets to sit back and do nothing <laughs> i know how that feels <laughs> the talent but uh you know we we check funko's website every day for updates and we we check a lot of the sites um every day for, for if they're going to show exclusive figures like um uh you know entertainment Earth shows off new exclusive figures all the time and so he, we, he'll we also, find. like, we can find things out. So sometimes on those forums, remember when you first went to that website and you're like, this looks like a forum. Well, a lot of times when you sign into that forum, the Funko Fanatics that's spelled with a, a fun F-U-N, that one, sometimes people, staff members from Funko will release information mm -hmm. and then immediately will take that information 
and make a, you know, a news story out of it. So um, we find it all over the place. Like one, one time that one of our biggest, our highest hit, one of them stories was when they, they released that they were going to do the DC collector box and the Star Wars, and the Star Wars collector box back in June, but July. it was in June and it was this little blurb that somebody tweeted about. Right. Okay. And I was doing research and I found this tweet and I was like, Oh God, I got to find out if this is true. And I ended up being able to verify that he actually said this because he said it at Funko Fun Days um, at the, before the Comic-Con. And then we wrote a story about it. Well, what I did was I just created names for them. <laughs> oh, like I just made up the names. I was uh, like, oh, we're going to call this one. What's the Collector it? Force. Collector Force. And um, the other one's going to be called. Was, like, it? was it Legion? I don't remember what I called the DC one, but whatever. And I mocked up. I made my own fake boxes. And I used that as the artwork for this cover story. Do you, I cannot tell you how many times people referenced that, like, as if it was true. Like, that was really what it was called. They were using my image all over the place, like, as if it was, like, legit, but it wasn't. You know, yeah. um, it was fun. And she put this claim around saying it was it's not like, legit. This is not the real image. This is not the real name of it. We're just speculating, but it really is happening. So that one still, to this day, gets hit. But Robin does a lot, a lot of the tech side, a lot of the tech and stuff, and she, you know, that's definitely. But I write uh, articles too. It depends. Does. Like we'll, we'll, we, we, we definitely it's teamwork because there's times where I can't because of work. Or I can't because of right. work. You know, we. So everyone, do you guys do videos? Like what was that, Lou? Everyone, do you guys do videos? Is it just dependent on a new release or like us? We do our show every Wednesday. Uh, right. Timing is a, is, a, is a factor. Um, again, we don't live together. We do see each other plenty of times throughout the week, but you know, we'll, we'll usually take one day a week and we'll set up. We'll set up our our, our camera. We buy. Yeah. If we don't have, I mean, if we buy cool stuff and we're like excited to show it, then we'll do videos. Some nights we'll do several videos in one night, and then I'll edit them. And then just he'll literally changes his shirt. Change my shirt every time. Each time, <laughs> and then every we guy different shirt. We edit like, it, and then we pop him up, whatever. The power of editing is is, is so great, much fun. Great. Oh uh, if, I, if I do a video and I wanna I wanna make it look like I do a couple days, I will literally have like three or four T-shirts right, on the side. Exactly, exactly, what yep. exactly what I do. Yep. Do a little filming and be like, all right, stop. Shh, another T-shirt. <laughs> All right, we're here the next day. <laughs> and and we usually we usually uh, also go on Periscope as well. And while we'll film with a with a hard camera that stays, stays focused on me, Robin will use her cell phone to to film through Periscope. So they'll they'll see like the in betweens and setting There's up. There's a lot of stuff. interaction, like on Paris. I don't know if you guys get involved with Periscope. No. Um, no. It's really fun. It's basically a, a subsidiary of Twitter and it's live video feeds. So you just, you hook it up to your Twitter handle and you just start videoing and people just come in from wherever and watch your videos. Mm-hmm. And so, oh, choo choo. So, <laughs> so we, we do, we do these periscopes where we'll be able to use our phone to um, do the videos and people come in and watch and they ask a lot of questions and you know sometimes they're jerks but most of the time they're really fun and jerks on the internet I know no that's now. why we would never do a live show no <laughs> it's fun yeah, we, it's fun we said it a long time ago no live no it's good it's fun to do live shows why wouldn't you guys do live shows because we're why? in freedom this way yeah we're we're distracted enough with each other. <laughs> That exactly. if if I I can see because he he picks on I mean Lou picks on terrorists he goes after terrorists all day on Facebook <laughs> and you know I fight with like paranormal people so yeah. I can imagine if somebody gets in the chat room and just says oh, yeah you guys like, aren't very well liked huh I'll be like you know what you know Lou you got the show well, I'm, well, I'm not liked asshole. in Syria you're not liked in Syria and he's not liked in some paranormal groups some. Like all of them, Lou. Let's be realistic. <laughs> but you but, aren't necessarily liked in all par- paranormal groups either. Yeah. You've got your 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 own things that you have kind of spearheaded. They're just afraid of you because most of the paranormal groups are white, and they're afraid of you because you're Mexican. <laughs> That's it. That's yeah, it. yeah. We we yeah. Some spearhead has been done. <laughs> yeah, some spearheading. I would so. say. 
But, uh, yeah, when when it comes to Syria and Iraq, they don't like me. No I managed politics. to find oh. some Taliban Facebook page, and every once in a while I go on there and I talk shit to them. Oh, and then Jesus. I, go, <laughs> I know. I keep telling them, he, one day we're going to do Put this show, shot. and all of a sudden, boom, he's gonna, <laughs> the video's going to blink out. <laughs> Put yourself on the right arm, man. Yeah, don't even. <laughs> Jesus, that's crazy. Oh, they got money, Monty Python? Yes. Yeah, figure. Oh, that's uh, awesome. Oh, they have a cool Black Knight coming out with uh, limbs torn off and like blood spurting off the arms instead. I and, uh, give oh, Teddy I saw that, that week before he starts collecting more of these. I'm telling you right now, I can see his little twinkle in your eye over I, there, Kenny. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I I don't have room. I do see them every time I go to the comic book store, the any comic cons or toy cons. I've seen so many of them, and I sit there and I'm looking like. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Look one. at that's this cool. one. It's Ant Man. Look how <laughs> little he is. That's the only box I didn't get. You didn't get the Ant Man box. That's well, because not... when I got when I got into the whole, you know, collecting from them, I got in when the third box was getting ready to, you know, before they sent it out. Oh, and I yeah. wanted the Avengers one, but I didn't want the Ant Man one. So it's one I've left alone. I haven't gotten it. That's and I have the option bitch. to pick it up, but I just haven't picked it up. Well, you saw what was in it now. It's a yeah. tiny little Ant-Man, and he's adorable. It's the world's smallest pop. Yeah. I don't think there's any. I have um, I have Ma Petite from American Horror Story. I have all the American Horror Story ones. Well, not all of them, but from Freak Show. Um, and she's little, and she's super cute, too. But she's not nearly as small as the Ant-Man. So. Oh, Robin, you're big in the Ghostbusters. You were. I am. You are. Mm-hmm. I gotta ask, what are you what are you thinking about the the reboot? You're gonna hate what I'm about to say. Oh, wait, this is gonna be interesting. I am not from the school of crying over a movie before it has even come out. I'm excited about it. I love the idea. I think it's gonna be amazing. Everyone's freaking out and crying about the ecto. The, oh, the the car looks so stupid, and look at their stupid outfits. And shut. Up uh, and wait until the movie comes out and then make your decision. Aren't you doing the exact right. opposite in the same way by I'm getting saying, excited? I'm saying I'm excited because I love the I, franchise. I want to make sure you you're asking what a female Ghostbusters fan feels about an all female reboot of Ghostbusters. That is true. Now now I, I see where you're, I see where you're going with that. I should be in it. On my my mentality, I never I never think like that. I never think male versus female. I I only think about Mexican and, Mexican and white. That's all. Right. But I don't think like oh it's it's all. Honestly, to me, that was just a gimmick. I really think it was a gimmick. And, yep. and sure. I mean, it doesn't really matter either way. To me, is like here's the thing. I, I like Carlos Willis- stupid. I why yeah. who cares? Why it's fine. Who cares? No, no. There were so many other options for cars, and they went to go get the pink Cadillac mobile from the 1970s. But can, but, can you, but can you think about what they chose back when the original movie was there? The original yeah. was beautiful. It was beautiful. Yes, right, but it was, but the, it was timing, like the timing. Though. The timing is almost exactly the same from now to the 70s pimp mobile that they picked from that like they're they're people that are struggling they don't have all this money they gotta go buy an old ass car that nobody else wants kenny and i saw a 1957 pontiac hearse and you know which one i'm talking about they could pick that one yeah but then they would have just been doing what they listen our local ghost hunter ghostbusters guys from jersey i know them boys tom we know them too we know oh, I don't know the Jersey ones. I know my Philly ones. The Jersey know? ones and the Delaware yeah, ones. We love them. And they, they got a better car than the movie. Listen, <laughs> I'm excited to see what it holds. I really like Melissa McCarthy. I think she's hilarious. What? I'm excited with that. Yeah, that's their newest picture. Which one's Melissa McCarthy? She's the one she's, on the end there? The, the heavier end. girl, yeah. yeah. Heavier you know girl. what? I, I like her in... in Bridesmaids. The, no, the TV show that she does. I don't. So, yeah. she's, I think she's funny there, but every movie I've seen her in, I thought she was just dumb. She's like, she's more obnoxiously funny, right? That's um, what I like. Yeah. At all. And it's, it's like, like the same character every time. 
So I'm not a fan of hers I'm at worried all. worried about. I'm worried about this. Like she's going to be the same obnoxious character, and then I, I think feel she like will be. I hope sucks. that Chris. I hope that Kristen Wiig is the lead. The leader. The lead of the movie. She's not. Melissa McCarthy. I think Kristen Wiig should be the lead of the movie. Well, she's that not. will make sure things a lot think better. That, but no. Carr should be the leader. I just. I, I'm. I'm. I tried, but I like. I have no desire to see it. I mean, I'm gonna. That's funny because when we were going back and forth over here about the, the new Fantastic Four movie, oh. he wanted to go see it. I don't want to see it. That movie. Now, Ghostbusters one we, oh. we've switched. I want to go see it, and I'm holding reservations, but he doesn't want to see it at all. I'm so, just I'm gonna see it, and I'm going to see what happens. I will be the first person to admit if I think it's terrible. I will, but from but I've been very much on the team of I'm gonna wait and see what happens. I'm excited about the idea. <laughs> nice little. This is how I wanna watch it. I'm excited about the new. Uh, you know, it's more more of what I love. It's a franchise that I love, and so I'm excited. We'll see what happens. Hmm. Maybe it'll suck. Maybe it'll be great. Who knows? Yeah, we'll that's see. a good look for you, Lou. I like that one. It is. Like a bastard man. Bastardo, 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 Bastardo man. Bastardo man. Bastardo man. Dark Knight. Oh well, man, that was that. What was it? Last week we just started busting out with every single mask we had. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and up all over the place. I'm sure that took quite a while. Oh yeah. Even did, did uh did our guest have? He didn't do it. He Paul, just watched. Paul didn't have any. We had Paul Michael. Paul, Kane. Oh, Paul Kane. I love him. He was, he was cool. I'm surprised he didn't have any masks. Really? He had a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, no. he had a bunch of toys. We were talking well, about his uh, his photography cards. And oh, stuff. I got those. I have them. Ooh, I got the nice case. Yeah, I have a case too, but I didn't get a silver case. Mine was black. <gasps> I'm waiting for mine to come in the mail. It should be here tomorrow. Yeah, I love that. I did his new ones too. Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting for them to come. Um, and I saw that he got the promo, the, the production pack yeah and he put the video up and it looks beautiful so he does really great work and he's one of those people that i will sponsor number two yeah i will always support him and and whatever he does yeah um because he's a good person and he's a very talented photographer so yeah he's so nice every time i see him he comes down for like events and stuff that we we get together on he's always we're we're doing something next year well, we're trying to get them to come out to the Bigfoot weekend. Yeah. Oh, we talked about Bigfoot weekend, didn't we? Yeah. At your Eric thing. Altman. May, the first Unofficial weekend of May. sponsor number three. Eric Altman. That's right. Um, yeah, it's the first weekend of May, and uh, we're going to be there. The second Louis weekend. coming out. It's the first weekend. No. Yeah. Oh, my God. They're arguing. It's the first weekend, Wait. dumbass. You guys are okay, like a married right. couple. Oh, that we've gotten that a lot. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Yeah, I know I'm right. Yeah. I'm agreeing with you. I know. You I'm better. Because I'm right. Damn. Bitch. Shit. Oh, my God. I hate you. All right, guys, I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> what? I'm what? serious. It's so way past my bedtime. So it's still early. Yeah. For in you, California. In California. Uh-huh. Not early here. I, I didn't even eat dinner yet. Hey, I you know what? I get to retire in eleven years, and that's we'll, it, Lou. Yeah, that's good. And then yeah. I get, then hopefully we'll move over to the East Coast. That's the plan, right? That's what the plan is right now. The kids are looking more forward to it than anybody. I know. I'm excited for the you kids. Know, well, we like we you. tried to buy a house uh, two years ago, but we, in regards to my military loan, if I buy a house out there, I have to live out there. For five years, so. Oh, geez. So I need. Well, I need to physically live in the house. I was hoping to buy one, rent it out, and then when it's time for me to move, kick those people out, move it. Right. <laughs> I remember you guys were looking. In, in in twenty hours, I will be sitting and watching Star Wars. I'm just. I just want to throw that out there. And then twenty three oh, hours later, I'll be hours. Right, crap on the Facebooks about. I will. I am. I am deleting Facebook from my phone. He is. I am well, we're, logging we're out. Spoilers. No spoilers for yeah, us. You guys gonna, might not, but who knows? I'm not going to do anything so that I can have any chance. When, is our, when are our tickets? We are not able to go until Friday night. 
Friday night. Well, see, here's the thing. Kenny and I, this is the difference between Kenny and I, and I think it's the perfect uh, uh, example for the fans that are out there. You have the fans who are like me, who are like, I don't, I don't want to know anything about the movie. All I want to see is just the two trailers, and I'm happy. Then you got the Kenny fans where I need to read everything. I need to see all the all the little, you know, surprise things that's in scene 54, whatever. And, <laughs> but like I told him, I, I'm, cl- I'm claiming oh, an embargo yeah. on all Star Wars right now that when I leave the theater, I want to leave like a fireball, you know, because I didn't see none of that. Whereas Kenny... Okay. Kenny is going to be like a fireball anyway, but he's going to walk in more a little bit more. Aw, what is that toy right there? That's a Burger King toy. Is yeah. it really? Yeah. yeah. Opens funny. up and it's Han Solo. Yay! Huh. But yeah. Yeah. All right, we will let you go then so you can get some sleep. I appreciate that. I'm falling I... asleep as we speak. No, you're not. No, you're not. Stay Stop up all night with us. That's right. Drink more. I can't. That's probably why I'm so That's tired. Exactly why. No, I can't. Damn it. Thank you for coming on, guys. Thank you for having us. I appreciate really appreciate it. it. Um, and and you know, Phil slash Pat. I did in the damn wrong, Kenny. Yeah, good one. Phil slash Pat. I like it. Um, all white guys look the same. <laughs> <laughs> he said all white guys look yep. the same. <laughs> Oh, uh, that was brilliant. That but it's awesome. Um, I did I did have a problem. I couldn't get onto your website. Um, I'm on I'm on your Facebook page, which is uh, Facebook.com/slash pop. Oh. At Matic Pub. Oh. Yeah. Pub. 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 You couldn't get on FunCoFanatics.com. Nope. Um, the website's right here in your 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 uh, Facebook page, and when I bring it up, it says your connection is not private. It doesn't like your site. Well, at least my computer doesn't like your site. But I'll be taking this to Bigfoot Con next year. <clears throat> oh, yeah, your Bigfoot hunting stuff right there. I got him, that. That's great. That's I great. So whenever, look, and then whenever we find Bigfoot, you know, footprints. Oh, you tag it. That's good. Do you, have the, do you have the stuff to. In case Bigfoot hurts us. Oh, I'm bandages. Very good. Yes. Very good. See, and look, nobody can question me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a believer. It said, "Oh my God." Is that oh, I, I, I don't. No, no, not a believer. No. It's not. I don't know if Lou told you, but when you try to leave the show, he just starts asking you more questions and bring up other stuff. He just totally. I got notebook. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. That's cool. Right. Um. Yeah, my dog is snoring. Can you hear him? Listen, if you. Oh, it's the mystery machine with Shaggy and Scooby. That's right. I wish I could just pick up the computer and show and just your show toys. everything. I yeah. know. There's so many toys, you guys. You have no idea what you're missing. Like, beyond. Well, what are you, are you on like a desktop or a laptop? Yes. Yeah, a we're on a desktop. We can't yeah, take so. this. I know. Where's the camera? Right here. Right there. Is it, is it, <laughs> I know where that is. Like, it doesn't, it's not, it's in the monitor? It yeah. It's in the monitor. Oh, okay. It's a, one of those Apple. Blood Bowl. Okay. IMAX. Oh my gosh. Oh wait. Wait, wait, before you guys go, you gotta see this. It's Crystal Skull. Guys, listen. I love you dearly. <laughs> see, I told you he won't let you go. Anyway, all right. Go. Lou, Funko shut up. Stop showing stuff. Fun, uh, FunkoFanatics.com. Yes, that's where they can find you at. They can you find us find on, on Twitter Facebook. And Facebook and everywhere else, Instagram, because we like to photograph our collection nicely. Awesome. And that is always pop o matic bub. pop o matic bub. Or pop o matic bubble. Bubble. Oh, okay. One of the two. That's the, I the didn't know if it was like a Wolverine reference or I don't know. I would be the one to do a Wolverine reference, but it is not. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you guys. Thanks for having us. Have Thank a great you. rest of the night. Don't um don't murder each other, okay? Oh, oh we will. We please. He lived with me two weeks. I, I, if I didn't kill him then, <laughs> it won't happen. That's true. That's true. All right, guys. Take it easy. Bye, Good night. Guys. Thanks, Robin. Thanks, Bye. Love yeah. you guys. Take care. I got. Thank you. All right. Boy. There That's we great. go. Okay. Whew. That, that was, was fun. That was fun. That was a lot more involved than I expected. 
Yeah, I knew. I figured that's what you would think. Because I'm not. I'm not like I. I mean, this. That's and, as far as you go. And the Marty McFly and the DeLorean. That's all I have of the pop figures. Um, like I said, I just don't have, and, and you know, I don't have room for all of this. So yeah, I'm. I deal with more of the little things that were more of the vintage stuff now. So, yeah. but uh, really cool. I mean, they they were on their game. Yeah, they. I told you. They, no idea. They got into it. Yeah, that I was. I mean, really... the only reason I have them because Roman and Laney. Yeah. You know? So whenever I get these boxes, I give it to them. You know, cool. here you guys pick which one you want. So. Awesome. If, if it were up to me, the only one I care for is that Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I saw the one that they were talking about. The uh, with the like the red flame. Um, on it, I saw that one. Where did I see that? I, I, I think that's I saw the one where his back is on fire. I don't know. No, I think it had it on the body. I don't know. I have to look. But don't bring it up. I'm not going to bring it up. Shut up, fool! If I want to bring it up, I'll bring it up. If I want to, I want to do it now. I want to do it now. How about how about that? Godzilla, Funko. Mm, oh, 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 oh! Bringing it up. There we go. I did. I did. I did. I got it. Where? No, I don't have that one. Oh, there he is. Yeah, it's on his body. He's got red glowing eyes, and then he's got, like, red flames on two pieces on his front, on his legs. Yeah, what that one is, is during the mid-90s, Godzilla, all that nuclear fire that's in his body, Yeah. It start, they needed to go somewhere with it, so it, his body couldn't contain it anymore. So that's why you start seeing it like breaking through his skin at some points. So that's where they get that one. It wasn't, and also at that same time, the scripts for the Godzilla movies absolutely sucked. Yeah. I mean, they were, they were a struggle to get them because they just made no sense. But oh. that's where that's where that comes from. Cool. Oh wow, they got Funko vinyl Godzilla versions: regular, Ghost Glow, black and white, and Burning Godzilla. Nice. I mean, they're really cool. If I had the room, I would totally be into this stuff, but I can't. I can't afford another... Another uh, like, hobby. Yeah, a, uh, another uh, collector's hobby. Yeah, same yeah. way with me. I mean, I already got Sideshow, and then I got this damn box, and then I got the comic books. And... I've got Ooh, all this stuff, and I'm really... I started really getting into the, the... Getting the vintage figures. Like, I just got... I just picked up an IG-88... I just picked that up. Yeah. Um, this last weekend. So I'm. Um, I mean, I'm slowly trying to pick up all the old figures. Oh, look at this! I got this. It's a keychain. It's the brain chip from Terminator. Oh, is it? Yeah. You like that? It's a keychain. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, I got it for two bucks. Where? At a... Oh, that was gonna, that's what I was trying to get you to answer your Skype. How was that? Uh, that. That yard sale thing in the building was not as good as I thought. Really? Um, me and a East Coast cat went down, and it was one of them things where it was like uh, they advertised it, said they were gonna have like 700 vendors, and that it was Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday, and they weren't gonna have the same vendors each day. That sucks. I mean, it. It. Well, not really. I mean, because I planned on going both days because of that. Oh, so you weren't going to miss it. You know, and, and it, it cost $3 to get in. Oh, okay. So $3, and it was good for all three days. I was like, oh, all right, cool. So fucking day. We went down Saturday, went through, and that's it. I got the, the IG-88 figure and the brain chip. But there were a lot of, like, crafts, um, a lot of weird crafts, a lot of photographers selling this pretty much the same shit um except for the one that was selling pictures of roadkill that was that was different yeah it was all yeah. roadkill like squirrels yeah. pigeons deer pictures raccoons, like photographs as in like they drove around they found an animal that had been killed on the road they got out and took a picture of it where it was <laughs> now was there people buying from this guy or no not that i saw <laughs> but there were, I mean, they had like poster side prints, really images. Because we walked, we were walking down the aisles, 
And I'm looking, I'm like, is that a squirrel? What the hell is a squirrel? That's a dead squirrel. And it was a poster. I mean, it was a huge, it was the size of your cat woman back how, there. How much was he charging? I have no idea. I did not want to even talk to them. <laughs> 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 I mean, I was like, oh, shit, I can't believe this. And I was going through, I mean, it, there was a lot of vendors there. And, and I was kind of disappointed because I was expecting more from a flea market. But they were more like, these are vintage, antique kind of shit. So they were they were charging a lot of money. There were a few people there that was at, they were selling comic related stuff. There was a guy selling movie quality props. And uh, like one of them was, um, they had the sports almanac, the Gray's sports almanac from Back to the Future. Was it expensive? Was he... Well, they had the, the magazine, the, the almanac magazine. They had the ooh la la cover from the movie. That went on top of it, and then they had the holographic bag that Marty bought it in, and Ooh. the whole set was $150. And I was like, "Wow, that's that's a lot." And then they had like the uh, from Beetlejuice, the the book that was the guide to the afterlife. Yeah. And they wanted $120, 120 dollars for that. And it was just, it was just a book. There was another person that had smaller versions, which was more of a journal. It was blank inside, just blank pages, and she wanted twenty bucks for them. But they were they were like small book, very small book. Wow. So it was very expensive. I mean, uh, like Cat was going through and and looking at a lot of the uh, photography, and it was just general photography. wasn't anything special, and they wanted like thirty, forty, fifty bucks for a print, and it was just eight by ten. Sure, I saw them. I saw some of the pics you and I took at, at Eastern Penn, and we could have charged 30, 40 bucks, and there was yeah. a reason for it. Yeah. I mean, it was just. Because our shit's professional. My shit's professional, and your stuff is still crap. Huh? Whatever. But what a bitch. <laughs> it wasn't. It was, and then we went back on Sunday, because um, I, I told her, uh, Saturday night I called her. I, I, I was texting back and forth with Kat, and I was like, I'm going to go down again, because we still have our wristbands. It's supposed to be all new vendors, so I want to see what they got. So she went down with me again, and it was pretty much half the vendors that were there were there on Saturday, too. No. So I was like, what the fuck is this? You know, I'm walking down aisles. I'm like, these are all the same people. So it was, for me, it was it was like called the punk rock flea market. But for me, it was a waste of time. Mm. I mean, no, at least you got it out of the way. Now you know. Yeah, now I know. I mean, during the during the season, like spring and summer, and, and early fall, there's a flea market down there like every other week, every other weekend, and it, it's free. You walk in, it's free, but it's more like an antique thing. But there's a lot of good stuff down there that I get things anyway. So, yeah, I'm not gonna go to that one again. No. Oh. Uh, Interesting. Shit. What have we got? We got an hour and a half. We still got some time. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we talked about that. We talked about that. I got a whole list of, th of shit here. Uh, bunch of movies coming out next year. We got, well, we got Star Wars coming out tomorrow, which when anybody yeah. sees this, it'll be yesterday. Um, there was a, did you see the trailers for Independence Day 2? No, I saw the trailer for uh, Star Trek. Star Trek. That was good. I liked that. I liked it. I, I, it kind of went, which one, uh, wasn't one of the original movies or was it uh, next gen where they crashed the enterprise? They crashed the enterprise almost in every, uh, movie. no, it was one of the next gen movies where they, they actually separate it. They separated the, the, uh, saucer section. I think that was probably the first part. The first one of the next generation. Yeah. So, but that's that's what it looks like they're doing it. The ship gets fucked up. Yeah, that I saw. The ship the ship gets well, yeah. the ship gets destroyed. Yeah, <laughs> great great going. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm gonna fuck it. They're, they're always the Enterprise always gets destroyed for some reason or another in each movie apparently. Yeah. So that looks. I'm good. fine with it because they just make every time they come back with a bigger and better one. Yeah. And then uh, well, Independence Day two resurgence. That came out, um, the trailer, and it looks really good. It actually looks good. 
Um, kind of disappointed Will Smith is not in it. His character apparently died um, before this, when this movie takes place. But uh, it looked good. The the end of the trailer, it actually looks like a Star Wars movie. It really yeah. lo- it looked like a, a a little bit of the Battle of Hoth, and then it switched over to like a space battle, which looked like a Return of the Jedi. You know the the last battle of Endor. I mean it. It looks good. It looks good. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. So it's gonna be a good year, I think. Yeah. Next year. Oh. Because isn't isn't Rogue Squadron supposed to be coming out next year as well? No, I didn't see that. I don't know if that's coming out next year or in 2017. Because I was hearing it was coming out next year. I didn't. I I looked through like a list of upcoming movies, and that wasn't on there. So I huh. don't know. But it should be. I think it should be because episode eight is scheduled for a 2017 release. And according to Disney, they're looking to put out a Star Wars movie every year. So 2017, so there might be a chance of a Rose Quarter next year. Maybe. Yeah, it might be. And the I only think- problem, again, that I have that I think, and, and you men- we mentioned it with, uh, <clears throat> with Robin and Pat is, Oversaturation. Yeah. No, that's my worry. You know. Well, you know what? I think they've done it. There isn't an oversaturation now. I think, and it was funny. Like I was talking to uh, our friend Melanie before the show, and she's yeah. She was like, "Oh, I'm I'm kind of sick of it. You know, um, she's had enough." And I can understand if you're not into Star Wars. I can understand. Like, there's it. It's everywhere. Like. Every every commercial <laughs> has something to do with Star Wars. Everywhere you go, food products and toys and clothing and, and everything is Star Wars. And from my perspective, I've been waiting for this fucking movie for 32 years. So <laughs> I'm into it. I love it. I mean, obviously, everybody watching this and you, you know I love Star Wars. So yeah, I'm, su- I'm sitting here wearing a fucking Jedi robe. So, <laughs> I'm ready for this. I'm good. No, I think we all are. It's just, you know, I just don't want it to be oversaturated right. to the point that everywhere you go is like, oh, I'm so tired of it. I don't want to see it, you know. I'm thinking I'm thinking that it'll die. Because I know our buddy bit. Jason Corbis was talking about that as well. Yeah. I know it's sponsor number four, along with Melanie and the special one, five. So, you know, they were both talking about it. And it's something that we've talked about here on the show, too. You know, or be- even between you and me, is just, you know, I hope it doesn't get oversaturated. Right. That's the only thing. Right. As long as I keep the stories good, and, and I think, I think the, it's the initial hype. You know, this is a big deal. This movie. Yeah. You know, I don't think Rose Squadron is going to have as much of the, the hype. Because we're going to have our fill. This is our fill right now. This is Christmas Eve right now for us. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, it's Christmas Eve for us, and and everything's been building for a, over a year, you know, and, and this is the culmination of all of that, and boom, tomorrow, we're going to get it, this weekend, we're going to get it, we're going to get our fill, freaks like me are probably going to see it like three, four times in the theater, yeah. and then we're going to be satisfied, it's going to be like, yes, all right, we're good. We're good. And then Rogue Squadron, when it comes out, if it comes out next year, we're good. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Uh, I'll be, I'll still go probably, you know, opening weekend, but I won't be as hyped. You know, um, it, it'll be good. I think it'll, it'll level out and we'll be good. Yeah, I, but, I gotta agree with you on that. Let's see. Other movies that are coming out next year, uh, Kung Fu Panda 3. I'm a big fan of the Kung Fu Panda movies. I like those. I like them. Um, I mean, not, I'm not, not something that I'm gonna run out to, right. but I, I doesn't mean I don't like them. I enjoy them. It's just, you know, there's there's stuff out there, and then you got the Avenger movies. Yeah, well, I don't. They're not coming. Or which one is? It's, the next it's, one is uh, Civil War. Yeah. That's coming out. Then we're we're probably gonna have um, Thor Ragnarok. Uh, we have Deadpool. That's, that one's gonna. Be, I'm yeah. waiting. Suicide Squad. I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm I'm holding that one the same way I'm doing that with uh, the Ghost Hunters. I'm yeah. gonna watch it, but I'm holding my reservations on it right now. Uh, Reason 
And I think the reason for that is I don't, I'm not too familiar with Suicide Squad in general. I mean, I know yeah. the characters, but yeah. as a as as a team, I never collected that comic book. Neither and am I. There's a, in fact, there's a lot of comics on DC I don't collect because some of the characters just uh, don't seem interesting to me at times. Um, right. So that was that'd be one of those. I mean, like let's say Justice League. Yeah, I, I'd get that one because. Characters I like are on there, whereas yeah. Suicide Squad, uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, we have X Men Apocalypse coming out. Uh, Gambit. Is this is this with the young with the new gen the the young crowd? Yes. Yeah, then I'll watch. See that. the trailer. The trailer dropped for that too. I didn't see it yet. I'm okay. Just, yeah, it's, it's your so cast. Crazy. It's your the younger cast. Um. And I like that cast better than than the I awesome know. Cast. Yeah, you do like that cast, and you know what I. I kind of have to go with you. I'm, I'm, a, I, I switched over. I switched over to your side. So, wow. I, I, after the last, when I watched the uh, Days of Future Past, I really liked them much better. Yeah. Um. That was a good movie. Yeah. Yeah. I like. I definitely like that. Um, Warcraft. That one was gonna be interesting. That's gonna be yeah. That's I like like. I like story. the game. Yeah. I, I don't. I've never played the game. It's it's it, it's a point and click. It's a lot of yeah. you know, uh, building your own city in your town. But I don't know how they're gonna do that in a two-hour movie. Maybe they're gonna set it up for another one. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I could see maybe it fall along the line of Lord of the Rings if that's what they yeah. do. But still, I I'm gonna watch that. Just just hopefully they get it right. Uh, Wonder Woman is slated for next year. We'll see. I'll watch it just because we'll it's a chick. We'll see. I'll... Yeah, and she's hot. Um, Assassin's Creed. I like the game, so I'm going to go watch that. I like the game, too. So, we'll, yeah, we'll see. And Doctor Strange. That's gonna... That one is – I am just. I want to see it just to see how they do it. Yeah. Yeah, me too. That's because he's a complex character. Yeah. Oh, man. So we should have fun. I think – is the new Godzilla coming out next year or the year after? That see, I didn't see that either. I heard next year, huh? But I, that's only what I've heard. I haven't actually seen anything um, about it or nothing in writing about it coming out next. The year. only thing I heard about that is that they want to do more Godzilla because they're getting complaints that we didn't see enough Godzilla in the last movie. Yeah, and and they want to do more Godzilla this time. So I agree. And I think they're still talking about Godzilla versus King Kong. So, I that I saw I've seen stuff on, but let's see st- again. Again, they're they they were they were pitting the last King Kong movie with the last Godzilla movie, which the size difference is just ridiculous. It wouldn't it wouldn't work. Yeah, it wouldn't work. Literally, I mean, Godzilla could pick up King Kong in his hand and hold him like a baby. Yeah. You well, know. you know, technology. Yeah. Toss Godzilla. It. King Kong got bigger. Those bananas he's eating are more radioactive than before. Uh, I saw uh, Vin Diesel has signed a deal for a Riddick TV sh- series. I was never a fan of the sh- movies. I thought they were just. I thought they were kind of dumb movies. When the second one came out, they go, "This is a part two of the first one." I go, "Those are part one." <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so, yeah. So, They're just. I didn't watch the second one. I think I've seen maybe. Five minutes of the second one that happened to be all just flipping channels, yeah. and I kept going I after them. I, I, I don't. Uh, Lego is releasing another game, Marvel Avengers. Yeah, I saw that you're gonna want that. I'm gonna want that. You know, I love the Lego games. I have oh. a buddy who, who is like you on that. He loves everything Lego. Yeah. That comes out for the video game, and he's—I and... don't know how you play, but he plays those games to collect every single damn token or Gal- whatever. It's, Gallon. He does. That's the way yeah. he plays. Yeah. I don't. I just go straight through. Gowan is a very. He's he's the puzzle guy. He likes to complete every single thing. And with the Lego games, that's how I am. I need to, because they give you a percentage, so you know, like when you're signing on, how what percentage of the game you've completed. And I have to get that hundred percent. And I'm, I'm right now. I'm doing the Jurassic Park one, so I'm getting through there and. The the Marvel one, 
Like I'm a big I'm a big DC fan. I love DC, but I'm kind of like you. I don't really collect too many DC comics. Yeah. Even though I I'm I'm the Superman fan. I collect more Marvel. And when it comes to the Lego games, the Marvel is much better than the DC one. Yeah, you told me that because I yeah. picked up some of the the Megals and was it the Marvel and I think the Batman. The Batman still Batman. here. That was like eight months ago. I have the Batman I ones are just out. not. They don't have the same feel as the Marvel. The Marvel is like open. New York is open, so you you travel around pretty much Manhattan and, and the, the island. The only good thing, well, when they come to Batman games, it's the whole Arkham Asylum ones. Yeah, those are good. They're See, really detailed, and I love those. I'll play the hell out of those. I but, did not like them. Really? I have. I still have one. I got it last year for Christmas, and I started playing it, and I maybe got an hour into it, and I was like, this is this is kind of – you know what? There was that, I think, Assassin's Creed, I think the second one I played, and I didn't like that either because it was so repetitive. All the moves were the same. All the, the way the enemies attacked you were the, was the same, just different scenery. And that's the way I felt about the Arkham Asylum. Like I was playing that and whole, that whole genre isn't for you then. That's, yeah. That's not, yeah, it's not for really. me. I don't mind that. I like it. Sometimes it does get repetitive. Yeah. I did, but you know, but I like it. I like those. You know, I couldn't get into those. Like, was it those Gran Turismo ones or not the? Yeah. Uh, not that one. The Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. I, me, I can't me. get into those because they even came out with the one. You know, of. of um, you know, Don Corleone, that whole mafia movie they based on them. Yeah. And, and it was the same way I couldn't get into it. Oh, on a side note, Star Wars Force Awakens breaks the $100 million mark in advance. Yeah, I saw that this morning. That's awesome. Okay, that was a side note. Um, oh, a little bit of a science here. Uh, I'm going to screw this name up. Terra Fagia? Terra Fagia? Terra Fugia, Just stick with the <laughs> flying car. A flying car model has been approved for tests in U.S. airspace. That'll never happen. It already did. It's already no, approved. no, no. I mean, as in being sold to the general public. We can't. We can look what we're doing with the stupid hoverboards. They're already catching fire. You think we're going to be flying those stupid things? I was looking at them. I was going to get one, but then I'm, I'm actually because I, I posted that picture. Of me in front of the the, the kiosk um, that was selling them. Yeah. And I'm talking to the guy and I'm watching him going back and forth and I'm like, wow, they'd be really cool. And Donna's talking to me and she's like, yeah, we could. They, they'd be really neat, you know. When we go on road trips, we could bring them out of the car and just go around. And I'm, and I'm at first I had that excitement like, oh, that'd be fun, just like I was when the Sedgway came out. But then, uh, like five minutes later, I'm like, you know what? I would never use this. I would never do it because everywhere we go, we walk. We like walking yeah. walk on the sidewalks, um, going in and out of uh, shops, you know, and seeing stuff and stopping all the time. I would never use that thing. That, and, and, and Roman wanted me to buy him one for Christmas. I'm like, when I saw a price tag, I go, no. But the other reason I didn't decide not to get him one is because how much more lazier can we get? You know, yeah. that's all that really is. Yeah. It's not for rights more. I don't want to use my own legs. You know, to to walk from point A to point B, I want to be you know driven over there, and it's just I think it's just another sign of, of being lazy. What was that movie that Disney came out with with that little robot and everybody, you know, goes up in space and they're on that spaceship while the Earth is trying to heal itself? Oh, uh, the um uh the uh, ah. oh I got him a Wally. Yes, well that's what I think. That's what I see that as. Everybody yeah. just fuck it. What are you just gonna? You know, have a pretty soon it's gonna be a chair that just takes us around, and we all become, you know, like that. You know, just and no, I'm not a fan of it. So, but I did tell Roman, I go, look, the prices drop, maybe I'll buy you one, all right? Yeah. And and the way they're going, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna see those things at the corner here pretty soon for like <laughs> twenty, thirty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, because now now the airlines won't even let you take them on board. And, right. And, They've been banned from pretty much every airline. Yeah, so I'm like, so why have it then? You know, one lady I saw, she had just gotten it, plugged it in to to charge up the batteries, 
plugged it on, once it got charged, she got on it and she barely moved and the thing caught fire. Not even an hour with it, you know, to ride. Just five minutes on and the damn thing just spontaneously combusted. And this this flying car thing before you before you get excited. Like I got excited just seeing that. But it's a uh, autonomous drone version of the car. So it's unmanned and it's only a tenth of the size of the actual car. Huh. So it's it's a scaled model that they're testing. And they're at, at best they're looking at eight to twelve years of development before uh, anything else. So yeah. it's gonna be a while. Well there was that That's thing awesome. on when we were talking about oversaturating, you know, with Star Wars yeah. and I've I've been doing pretty well trying not to put as much any Star Wars stuff on our Facebook page. I'm trying to like keep away. Yeah, you've been that's why we put like, you know, archaeology and some history stuff on there. But today I saw that I think you saw the video of Yoda fighting off some cats. Yes. <laughs> so I said, you know what, I have to put this one on there. I that's go, just it's a toy. Yeah, but still, it I called it the mini movie. But <laughs> <laughs> but I thought it, I just watching the cats going after the stupid thing, I go, well, okay, I can deal with this. You know. But um, <laughs> listen to you. You're such a, an idiot. <laughs> You're like, I, I don't do. want to know nothing about Star Wars. But okay, this this thing with a toy Yoda playing with a bunch of cats. I think I can handle that. In yeah, because there's no spoilers in there. Yeah, no spoilers. It's only you know, Yoda fighting house cats. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> it is. It was kind of cool. Yeah. Especially when. Yoda whacks a couple of the cats right on the face with that, <laughs> whatever he's trying to swing. Oh, man. Oh, wow. And I'm like, that, that's probably not legal. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. I'm good. Uh, I well, think I got thought, a thing. You see Sideshow's coming out with a new R2-D2? God, yes, I saw that. You're going to buy it. I probably will. Yes, I am. And they're going to take pre-orders for it at WonderCon. Oh, next okay. year, and I didn't know until I was like, oh, I'm going there. I'm going it's there. Guess, guess what I'm going to pre-order. <laughs> oh, shit. It does look cool, though. Do you display but, all these? Yeah. you gotta send, You got to put a picture up. you got to right. take some pictures of all this, because we see you unbox them, but I want to see them, like, up and displayed and, and in all well, their right glorious... Now waiting, right now, I'm waiting for a display case. It should oh. be coming to me within a week. Okay. And with my buddies, his his company no longer needs them, so usually I can get you know you can sell those for like two to three hundred bucks. He's just giving it to me, and he has okay. two of them, but I only need one, and and so that's all I'm waiting for. Cool. So. <sighs> all right. I think right. we wrap this up now. All right. This was a good show. It this was, was interesting. Show. We learned a completely new thing from a completely different side of the toy world. Yes, yes, that we've seen a lot of, but just didn't know much about. Yep. Awesome. So, big thanks to Robin and Pat. And Pat, not, not Phil. Phil. Dumbass. Thanks oh. for blaming me, too. Thanks for throwing me right under that bus. <laughs> well, you know, white people. Yes. Uh, shout out to our official sponsors, um, Shield. Shield. Uh, Paranormal Enlightenment Magazine. Mr. Fowler, Dax Christopher Books, and Devil's Playground. Booyah! Awesome. And Bluegrass Ghost. Christmas Christmas gift. Oh, yeah. What better way to say Merry Christmas than to give a game about making money by any means necessary? Exactly. Horny, (laughs) drinking, and and horny. The spirit of Christmas. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. Um, and also uh, B.J. Hodges, our bluegrass ghost chaser uh, buddy. And uh, that's about it. That's all the official sponsors we have. If you would like to be an official sponsor, all you have to do is send us free shit. That's it. <laughs> that's it. We have no shame. We have no shame. No shame. And we will plug your your brand, your logo, your company, whatever. Send us free shit. We don't like money. We like money, but we don't take money from you guys. Yeah. We just take yeah. your free product. That's right. Yeah. 
<laughs> uh, and if you're thank watching, you all for, for joining. Thank you for joining the show and tuning in and clicking play. Um, if you're on our Facebook page, make sure you like it. Make sure you go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you go to our Facebook page and like it. Also, hit up our Instagram account, run by East Coast Cat. Drake! Uh, and then, uh, wow, we're coming up on the end of the year here, so we're not doing any... Uh, next week for our special Christmas special. It'll be our special Christmas special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about all kinds of... Stuff. <laughs> Special stuff. Special stuff. We have no idea yet. <laughs> well, we have an idea. We just we have an share. idea. We gotta bang out the details, but we'll be in our Christmas garb or holiday garb, whatever garb, and uh, yeah, we'll be talking about Christmas and the new year and stuff like that. And then uh, hopefully next year we'll, we'll ramp up and do some more conferences and stuff. So if you have a paranormal conference or a comic con or a toy con stuff that you see us ah, love us, that's awesome looking. I'm not a fan of it. So. If you, we'll send it out to me. Kids already called it. <laughs> Damn kids. But if you want us to come out, we can do, we can do, we do videos at the conferences. So we do whole yeah. videos. We we promote your stuff. We showcase stuff. Um, so have us out. Give us a call. That's right. Um, we did have a winner last week. For our we show. did? We did. Who was the winner, Bob? Um, Stephanie Bond. Bond, am I saying that right? Let me make sure I'm stay, saying that right. Yeah. Uh, Mitch's, uh, partner <laughs> that we know and love. Interest. Interest. <laughs> love interest <laughs> oh they're a couple they've been a couple for a while now they're a cute couple though yes yes very cute not like um, you and me <laughs> <laughs> Bond Stephanie Bond uh, our good friend she's awesome uh, she has been down a bunch of times for parties and stuff and she hangs out um, but uh, she was the one that had the correct answer for the uh, trivia question that Paul gave so we will be sending you that gift in like couple years uh well it's already in the mail well, it's Pony See, that's what happens when i take care of things it was actually sent out like two days ago so she should have it by the time this show is posted um and hopefully she'll enjoy it she won the the, the trivia question was about um like what car ford co what uh car company did he did a do a photo shoot for and it was ford um and she answered correctly, so I sent her out a pack of his uh, light box um, cards. See, we give stuff out too sometimes. Yeah, yeah. That was the first time in a year. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> there'll be more to come. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Give us free shit to give away. There you go. Yeah. And we'll promote your stuff. Exactly. But, you know, that means send three. One for me, one for Lou, and one to give away. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> no shame. No shame. No shame whatsoever. All right, bitch. I'm going to get right, going. Bitch. I want to get to bed because I got a long day tomorrow. Wait, you, you're on vacation now, aren't you? No, not yet. I got to work tomorrow. And then you're on vacation for two weeks? Yep, three weeks. Almost three weeks. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'm leaving early tomorrow from work, and then I'm off on Friday. Then I got to go back to work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then off again for four days. And you know what? I'll take that. Okay. <laughs> I don't – yeah. Tomorrow I leave work. And come home, get changed, go right up to the theater and wait and by, for two and, hours in line. And what's funny is by the time you get out of the movie, I'll be going into the movie. Into the movie. There you go. <laughs> and I'll so. wait for you to come home before I, I talk to you. But then I'm yeah. off until the new year. I'm off. But you'll be asleep by the time I get out. So Are, we'll you, kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 32 years I've been waiting. You're going to be up until right around 1.30 in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning? Probably. Probably. I don't have the work. Okay. I'll be going I'll through text, it. I'll text you if you're up. You text me as soon as you get out of the movie. Okay, but I'll text you. All and right. if you answer, fine. If not, we'll talk on Friday. Okay. All right, bitch. All right, bitch. Boys and girls, never stop learning. Ladies and gentlemen, take nobody's word for it. And on that note, we are out in three, three 
two. two.